Hey guys, uh, what's up? Uh, welcome to the Wild Goat Games stream. My name is Harry and um, Wild Goat Games is my solo indie dev project. Um, this is my first time ever doing anything that resembles a stream, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, and if you're watching this post stream on YouTube or something, then um, yeah, I don't know, you can, you can watch these live as well. Um, so yeah. A uh, bit about me, uh, I am uh, really interested in games development, have been for pretty much as long as I can remember. I've been actively doing it for about, uh, ooh, let's see, about a year and a half, uh, coming up to about two years now. Um, and yeah, I've, uh, I've so far I've released a couple of games, nothing crazy, just simple things. Um, one of them is, uh, I'm actually going to show you, the first one I released was a game called Puck You. It's basically a Pong clone, um, and it's, uh, hold on if I go across here. So yeah, you can see it's a Pong clone with like power-ups and stuff. Um, honestly, I'm actually pretty proud of it. As a first effort, I thought it was really cool. Um, there was some crazy stuff going on in there. Um, and then just last month, uh, I released my first mobile app to Google Play and the Apple App Store. Uh, it's called Tessellate. It's basically a puzzle game all about shapes um, and matching colors. It's the kind of thing where if you're into like Rubik's cubes, logic puzzles, stuff like that, um, you'd probably enjoy it quite a bit. And that's what it looks like on a phone. If my camera will make it work, maybe it won't, I don't know, whatever. You get the idea anyway, uh, there's shapes and it looks cool and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, so that's Tessellate. Um, anyway, enough about the stuff I've done so far. Um, the whole reason I'm streaming is because I want to share my development journey um, from literally from scratch, so from start to finish, the entire process of making a game. But not just one game, 10 games, because I'm gonna, my last game took me 15 months to complete. Uh, I suffered massively from scope creep, um, and it was just, I don't know, it was problematic, uh, and it took me a very long time. So this year I'm challenging myself to, to make 10 within 2020, which means they've got to be agile, they've got to be simple, well executed mechanics, um, and I'm not going to get bogged down in adding features on features on features. It's going to be much more about creating quick, unique experiences that also help me understand game design better as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that in a nutshell. Um, and I think really, now that I've, uh, uh, I've kind of introduced all of that, I'm kind of just gonna get started. So you might be able to see in the corner of the screen there, um, just up there, it's, it's pretty small. Uh, I'll probably have to increase the size of that in future. But um, basically the objectives uh, for myself today, my tasks for this stream, uh, however long it takes, are that I'm gonna introduce and announce my first game um, of the 10 in 2020. Um, I'm going to uh, get the project set up in Unity. I'm going to be doing some development um, and uh, and basically setting up the state machine um, so that we can switch between like the menu state, the play state of the game, the game over state. Um, and then once we have those states set up, I can start thinking about what mechanics and assets um, I need to add into each of them. Um, and we'll just, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to introduce my my first game of the year, um, and the concept is essentially uh, it's sort of like a spot the difference game. So if you've ever played, uh, I don't know if this is just a UK thing or if it's like everywhere, but um, there is a, um, a, a a game that called Double that you can get in like pretty much anywhere now. It's all over the place, and it's been like a Christmas present for like a few years now for a lot of people. Um, basically the idea is it's about it's about spotting the difference between these cards or in that case it's about spotting the similarities um, but the reason it works so well is that there's this like phenomenon that happens where if you're shown a series of symbols and then you have to kind of look away and look back it's very difficult to spot what's changed or anything like that um, and I found that mechanic really interesting and I thought it'd be a fun mechanic to design an arcade game around something where you know you can play it very quickly and then maybe get like a high score um, so the game is called odd one in 
um, and essentially it boils down to um, spot the odd one in. So you literally just like, uh, you're presented with a set of shapes and in fact I've got a, a shitty uh, <laughs> uh, a shitty drawing on my phone. Um, so yeah, if I just come over here and you might be able to see it. So that's like my crappy Google Notes mock-up. So what you see here, you can see there are four shapes um, or symbols that are randomly generated and the idea is you have to memorize those and then it cuts cuts away uh, to like a blank screen or, or some sort of message and then it cuts back in and it will basically say uh, spot the odd one in and the idea is that there will be an additional shape there uh, you have to spot which one wasn't uh, which one wasn't there before you tap it the quicker you tap it the more points you get um, and then you go away and come back or whatever and you keep going and keep going until you get to like say 12 shapes uh, and then they just swap one of the shapes and so at that point it's going to be really difficult um, and each round is going to have five second maybe a five second timer and the idea being that the quicker you do it within those five seconds the more points you get so there's like a there's like a skill element and a speed element um, so yeah that's it in a nutshell um, and as I said today I'm pretty much doing the project setup and I might be doing some messing around with um, starting to create some assets um, and something else I should say is that I have you know uh, I really am just gonna live stream while I'm doing this and and I'm most definitely a hobbyist not a pro so there's gonna be a lot of googling of stuff uh, and a lot of figuring stuff out and probably hacking stuff together along the way um, I, I, I try to avoid following tutorials word for word wherever I can and instead figure out solutions on myself um, by myself but um, we'll see you know you never know um, all right uh, oh and the last thing I will say is that um, uh, you will probably see at some point one of my two cats um, they're sleeping at the moment but they basically uh, have a tendency to come and bother me when I'm on the computer and uh, they usually like to come up and sit up here on the windowsill so uh, we'll see how that goes uh, if if there are cats emerging at some point well that's what that is cool all right um, nice okay in that case I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna get started so I'm gonna close my website now oh and last thing I'll say uh, you can also become a beta tester if you want uh, you can sign up and you can play all the games as soon as they um, are ready for testing um, with my last release I had a lot of issues with devices that I didn't have the ability to test myself um, they're all fixed now but obviously when you launch it's best to like have that stuff done in advance so if anyone wants to sign up as a beta tester, either for Android, iOS, or both, um, then you would be awesome. Um, and that is that. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to stop that now, um, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Unity. And have a drink of coffee. I hope the sound levels with the um, with the music and stuff are alright. By the way, I did do quite a bit of experimenting with Streamlabs <clears throat> and everything else. Um, okay, right. So I'm going to go and make a new project uh, and then just check that's all fine. Uh, we want to uh, put it in a project called Odd. But we'll see. Uh, project name is odd one in oh what I should say as well as I recently just got a um, uh, I, re I recently got a uh, new mechanical keyboard it has brown switches so there's no clicking but there is like a noticeable punchiness when I'm typing um, so hopefully that's not irritating and if it is I'll have to look into ways to reduce that but anyway um, okay Organization Wargo Games. Uh, and then. Um, oh, wait, no, we can just store it in, actually, just to be safe. All right, cool. 
So it's 2D and some on the organization and Unity Analytics is on, good. I don't need any asset packages because I've never really done any of that, so we'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, da, 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 create the project. It's just loading up, by the way. I'm not. Um, <laughs> I'm not uh, ignoring it. All right. I'm just waiting for Unity to load up. You can see the little uh, loading bar down there. Um, I've got a dual screen setup. So basically the reason I keep looking over here is that I've got all the uh, stuff like Streamlabs and stuff open on that screen. And I, I actually, I do have the ability to switch between them. Uh, look, I can show you. Um, there we go, see, there's the other screen. Um, but. I prefer using this one for development, but the idea being I can switch between the screens depending what I want to show on the stream. And I also have um, one that, uh, to be honest, probably needs a little bit of work, but I have a dual screen one as well. So you can theoretically see the whole thing and there you can see my nice wallpaper. Um, so yeah, anyway. Oh. All right, cool. And um, something I didn't mention earlier, by the way, was that um, there is, um, you know, I, I am doing all these indie dev projects solo. So that means um, any music, um, any, you know, any audio, sound effects, artwork, assets, um, I don't know, pixel art or something like that, logos, marketing, doing stuff on the website, streaming it at the same time, uh, obviously all the programming, the development, the game design, the logic. Um, and anything working in the engine, it's all just me on my own. So, you know, be kind. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So, um, right, so I've got my project here and uh, da, 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 I'm gonna temporarily skip the new version of Unity and I'll update that when I'm not streaming uh, because that will be slow. Okay, so build settings and straight away we're gonna go in here and we're gonna change it to Android because personally I have an Android device so it's easier for me to test um, doing it on Android first. And so I'm gonna uh, switch the platform to that. And in the meantime, while that's happening, I've also got, um, uh, for the state machine, which is my first thing to do, I've actually got a template which I can just cut and paste into the code folder in my assets folder. Um, and that basically gives me a head start and I can just go in and then like tweak that um, for the specific project. Um, and I'm, I'm actually not sure how normal it is to have a state machine for a game where you're shifting between these different states um, that it's in so that you're not you're not run, relying on loads and loads of scripts and there's like a controlling script that runs um, and manages each state that it's in. Um, but it's basically when I was learning about Unity and about C Sharp, um, it was the way that I learned to do it. So it's just how I do it now. Uh, so I'm just gonna very quickly uh, go into my other projects. Um, if I just go here to project on, on this screen. Uh, and I'm going to go into my state manager template and I'm going to copy that and then odd one in. All right, so now there we go. So now we've got this uh, code project. Uh, not project, you know what I mean, folder. Um, Right, 
So I'm going to open up uh, Mono Develop, which again I think most people prefer other other. I think they call them IDEs, um, like uh, Visual Studio and stuff like that. I I, I like Mono Develop just because it kind of works and it's quick. Um, I'm sure there's reasons to use those other ones, but this one works fine for me. So you know. Just looking through my mono develop stuff. Sorry, my computer is quite slow, so I'm waiting for more develop to um Alright. Alright, so basically if I show you this here, um well actually I'll uh, move that over here for a second. So I've got my different states. Um opening them up and actually to be honest with you I'm uh, reminding myself as much as anything else how this works because I haven't looked at this for about 15 months since I did it on my last game um, okay so uh, there is a state manager here which I just like uh, stick on an object um, in the first thing and it basically so the game starts up and then it says that um, the active state is um, a begin state and so basically it does a bunch of stuff and then it takes to begin state um, and then there's some stuff over here where uh, stuff happens and then it switches to uh, play state and lost state and one state and stuff like that okay cool so uh, oh Fraser Lloyd thank you for following that's very cool Fraser <laughs> um, all right nice um, oh there you go um, all right so uh, and now I've lost track of what I was doing um, Um, you know what, I'm very quickly, uh, uh, like I said, all of this is a bit um, a bit different for me, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to very quickly go into my project for my other game, Tessellate, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a quick refresh on how I've done it in there, because uh, this is all, all part of the process. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, so this is my project file for Tesla 8, and in here I can see that I've got a game manager which has got the state manager and the game data script attached. So good remembering Harry now I'm gonna do that and then I've also got some stuff that's like a level a level changer 
Okay, I might I might actually end up nicking that script as well because if I can't repurpose it, what's the uh, what's the use? Uh, okay, so that's cool. Uh, and something else I'm going to be adding is a is a splash state, uh, which is like a you know like a splash screen, so it shows my logo. Um, if you if you play Tessellate, you'll see that as well. Um, and yeah, sorry, just waiting for Unity to open up. Good old the benefit of having a slow computer. All right, odd one in. We're uh, we're now back on the uh, on the main track. <laughs> while well, Unity takes a while to work to load up. There we go. All right, so we want a, uh, da, 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 uh, we want to create an empty, and this one is gonna be called Game Manager. Um, all right, and to that, we are going to attach our State Manager script. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so apparently there's already a, an issue with something to do with the... Hmm, that's weird. Uh, it's saying it's expecting a bunch of stuff in the... All right. Let's have a look at what it's saying. It'll be something to do with the fact that I copied and pasted the files across, I'm assuming. Okay, so uh, if we go to lost state. Oh, is it the fact that So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm basically going to compare these files from how they look in my last project, um, because to be completely frank, I, uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know how to make a state machine uh, myself, and I, I read a very useful guide that explained the process, um, but that was about a year and a half ago, and so since then I kind of just have this template that I use and I, I, I figure it out as I go every time from scratch, so that's fun. This isn't exactly an explosive first stream either because uh, basically I'm spending a lot of time doing setup uh, and stuff like that, so obviously that's not quite... Um, not not quite as uh, speedy as it could be. No, what's it doing? Oh my god, Visual Studio, why do you suck so much? Okay, you know what, I'm going to open this in fucking notepad uh, because I I'm literally just trying to, f I'm just trying to read it. 
Um, okay. Steal this one. There's some stuff in there about a game data file, but I've not created that yet. That's all fine. Um, <laughs> okay, now looking at begin state. Uh, you know what I could do? I oh, like this. Like this. Okay, now we can all see. Sorry about that, that's what I should have done from the beginning. Uh, okay, so on the right is my new one, on the left is my old one. Um, so, um, all right, I'm actually going to be uh, cheap and I'm going to just cut and paste a lot of this stuff because. Basically, it's a fading mechanism that I built in the last game that um, that I want to use in this one as well. timer um. mm -mm. yeah I, I start to remember how it works Ah, so I see in, in Tessellate, I didn't use this, I had this pre-made switch thing, and instead I had something called, uh, well actually if I just edit these with Notepad++ as well, and then I had this thing called the level changer. 
and actually okay you know what within unity before I forget um, oh shit yeah that's what that's what it was wasn't it there were some issues with every let me get rid of that put my debug log about that um, in there and do the same in all of them You know what? So actually, I'm going to get rid of. There is no one or lost state. So instead, um, I'm going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of it. Save that. Uh, and instead, we're going to create a state called. Um, script came over state lost state we can delete one state we can delete because basically so that what we're doing at the moment is we're setting up um, the structure of the game and so begin state is basically loading up the splash screen and showing my logo thing and then as soon as that finishes it jumps straight to the menu so we're going to have a menu state, and then after that it um, goes to play state, and after that it goes to game over screen, and that's it. And that that's like the whole function of the game. And the idea is that actually within those states we can just jump between what the game needs to do. So we're we're optimizing uh, how it runs in theory. Um, so we also want menu state right. game over state game over state Uh, and then, okay, yeah, so the idea here is that, like, you see we've got, like, um, some if statements where it's basically if whatever the criteria is, um, then switch switch the state to um, whatever else. And that pretty much sums it up. Um, but what I will say is that... Yeah, what I, will, what I will say is that I think there's some other stuff. There's a level changer that I made. Um, I 
Oh, there's some quite complicated stuff going on over here as well. This is a problem with uh, <laughs> trying to remember how you did it before uh, when you were a bit of an amateur. Uh, All right. How's the light, by the way? Shall I? Um, yeah, it's alright for the moment. Sharp script. Oh, bollocks, what am I doing? Um, oh, yeah, it's doing that thing. There we go. Oh, I remember there's a whole bunch of uh All right, this will take a while to get working properly, I think. But hey, that's, you know, why I'm here. So All right. You know what, I'm going to just leave that as it is for the moment, <laughs> uh, not think about it, and then, uh, yeah. Sometimes I find that headphone bands can get like very uncomfortable and it's kind of like an unavoidable quirk of it for them to fit properly. They have to be kind of tight-ish, but it's always, I don't know, I always find it a bit irritating. Um, <clears throat> all right, so. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, 
that's right. The whole point of the level fader, level changer thing, was that I would trigger a fading thing. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so what I'm going to do for now, in that case, is I'm going to go in here and I'm pretty much going to... For some reason, it's not coming up with um, uh, handy um, hold on. No, look, see, it's not. It's not giving me uh, auto auto generated stuff. I wonder why. Maybe if I close Mono Develop and then open it back up. How weird. Google to see why that might be. Let's see. Apparently if I right click and go to assets, open C sharp projects, sometimes it can help. time being I'm gonna listen to the advice of people on the internet and I'm just gonna try restarting the program so I'm gonna very quickly quit unity again um, now I'm opening it up again I swear once this uh, once this bit of the uh, clunkiness is, is figured out 
um, we'll be well on our way. Basically, all I want to do is get it so I can switch between these states um, with something like hitting the spacebar. And then um, once I've got that and I, I can see that it's all working, um, I'll be able to, you know, I'll, I'll be able to start putting in the criteria that actually, you know, shifts between those those states and I can start building the scenes that go between them as well. So, uh, no, it's still not working. I wonder if it's because of those compiler errors. Does it work in here? No. This is fucking annoying. Um, you know what? Um, External tools. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll try using Visual Studio and see what happens. Seeing as apparently that is more readily supported um, oh, so here it goes I can see it's opening up after my bad mouthing of it a second ago maybe it'll work and I'll just use this from now on so we'll see uh, it sounds like it needs to download some sort of thing It's got to do a whole bunch of stuff, apparently. Probably because I last opened it a long time ago and my login details have changed since then. Alright, cool. It looks like they updated everything. So, now if I close it, and if I go to Open C Sharp Project again, uh, so I need to download the targeting pack for .NET Framework version 4.7.1. I can see it there. Okay, so I'm downloading it now. You might be able to hear a motorbike going past outside. That's pretty normal. That's just kind of how things roll here. Oh. Downloading at the moment. There you go. That's a nice, fun, a nice, fun visual for you. Uh, oh, except it's not because it stayed on my other browser. <laughs> well, it's almost done anyway. Mm -hmm. 
also in terms of the music that's playing in case anyone's curious it's just a uh, this like i think most people are familiar with it it's like this lo-fi live channel on youtube that just plays random lo-fi bits of music over and over again so hopefully it's not irritating I've, i i find it's quite good music to work to um but obviously if it is irritating people should tell me and i'll i don't know all right so i'm just installing this this is a fun stream i'm uh, i'm installing software um <laughs> and uh and trying to copy paste my way to having a working game. So that's that's nice, isn't it? Oh, this is Nope, still not working. How weird. I wonder what's causing that. Right. Um while that is loading, I think I'm gonna take a quick five minute break. Um and you know go get myself another cup of coffee and uh don't know that sort of stuff um so yeah uh i will be back in maybe five minutes hopefully once this uh uh once this stuff is installed so i can carry on developing in visual studio this time which will hopefully work properly all right we'll be back in five
Yo, I'm back. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, hopefully that wasn't too long. I, sorry, I was making myself another cup of coffee and stuff, and, well, I have a bit of a reputation for being slow at everything. <laughs> but, hey, the good news is uh, we have um, uh, ID and... Um, uh, da, 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 uh, now we can, um, I think that's what it's called. I'm going to sound like a real idiot if that's not what they call them. But we have a um, uh, code editing piece of software. And the good news is, if I want to, I can, uh, I can do this. Yeah. Oh, no, I, can't, I don't want to do that. I want to do the dot. Well, see, there you go. Uh, hello. That's more like it. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. So, all right. Um, these ones down so I so I don't lose them um, yeah because what I want basically what this the reason this is a bit complicated and I'm making it more complicated for myself is that this begin state is going to be and in fact I've got a doodle in my notepad here that I can hold up to the screen so basically in a nutshell and you'll have to excuse the rough nature of this but in a, in a nutshell the state machine starts off with um if you can read that uh splash state it then goes to the menu state it then goes to the play state and then it goes to the game over state and then it, it loop and then it loops back to uh, either the menu or the thing so what i want to do is when the game loads up it starts with this begin state and then um it shows the logo for a minute and then um, not a minute like two seconds and then it fades um using this uh, level changer script that I made for my previous game. Um, so what I need to do is get that set up because basically the rest of the game isn't actually, I only need that if I want to fade between two scenes and actually the rest of the game only has two scenes. So, well, there's three, there's probably gonna be three scenes in total for this. One of them is gonna be the splash screen, which is just the logo. One of them is going to be uh, the menu, which includes like the menu buttons, uh, the button to play the game, settings, uh, some sort of leaderboard, um, and stuff like that. Um, and the the main one is going to be the, um, uh, da, 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 uh, the well, actually, uh, yeah, actually, I, sp I suppose the. Um, yeah, the gameplay scene. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking out loud, but, um, all right. So, uh, what I need to do is, uh, I need to, yeah, okay. Um, Um, <clears throat> so to this game manager, I want to, um, I'm still needing to figure out why it's saying, uh, why it's saying those compiler, oh fuck off, why is it saying compiler errors? Okay, no, I know exactly why it is, okay, I can fix this in two seconds, um, Okay, so basically, um, for the time being, I'm going to
there must be a way to comment out it was like control alt and c on mono develop um sorry one second Apparently, uh, if I do Control K C, oh there we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, All right. So, uh, yeah, basically what I'm what I'm doing is um, I'm adding in. This is my very temporary way to switch between. Uh, the states and then we get the get key down um, code I'm doing this from memory by the way uh, it, it'll be it'll become pretty clear pretty quickly that C sharp is something I've learned to solve problems rather than learned properly <laughs> um, but hey isn't that how everyone learns so uh, we're gonna go for uh, sp sp uh, space all right, so oh, I had some weird beeping. I don't know. I guess that must be my phone. Nope, it's not my phone. <laughs> I don't know if that came out in the stream though. There was a definite. Um. Basically, we're just going to <laughs> that's pretty much. Menu, we go to the play state, and then in the play state, so all I'm doing now is I'm literally just telling it to um, I don't need that weird little. This in this case, uh, it's telling me how to do better code. <laughs> it's not what I should be saying. Alright, so if if I press space 
then we uh, we go to play Turn, we go to the menu state. All right, so ah, oh, shit. Sorry, Mono Develop, you failed me. Um, all right, so um, <coughs> yeah, so in here there is a game data reference that. Um, Temporarily comment those out, and the same goes for here we go. What a weird function. Um, anyway, as you can see, that whole script is a mess. Uh, so I've commented out the entire thing for the time being because it's not being used. Ten and thirteen in the <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, nice. So it really is super basic at the moment. Okay, whatever, that's just a mess. Um, okay, so I think now if I click play, we should see... Um, let me just check. Is this... Oh, no, it's not going to work because... <laughs> Yeah, now that I fixed the compiler errors, I need to add my. Uh, all right, so I add my state manager to there. So, all right, now. Ah, you are now in begin state. Okay, so we'll simulate some criteria. So I hit the space bar. You are now in. Oh, game over state. That's not good. Okay, well, at least that's working. Uh, so, for some reason, it's not skipping me over to the uh, menu state, though. Or it is, but it's not saying anything. Oh. Space to play again, press return to return to the menu. All right, so now uh, let's try it again, it should work. Now I'm in menu state. Now I'm in play state. Oh, oh shit. 
Oh. Ah, that's why. Okay, I was listing the wrong thing. And see, this is why I needed to test it straight away at the beginning. All right. We are in the splash screen. Now we're in the menu. Now we're playing the game. Now it's game over. And we can press space to play again. Oh, we're playing it again. Now we're in game over again. So instead of pressing space, we can press return to return to the menu. Boom. Okay. Fine. Okay, so those are those are essentially the um, sorry, I was uh, itchy here. Uh, those are the different. Uh, hmm. Those are the different um, states, and they're all working fine. So now what we can do? Um, well, the first thing I'm going to do. Oh well, it's on phone nine by sixteen, so that's all right. Um, one thing I'm going to be very conscious of this time is scaling across devices. Um, and making sure that's set up as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah. Uh, da, da, da. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to create a C sharp script called game. Uh, if I could fucking type game data, and that one is getting added also to the. Oh no, yeah, that's what I need to do. We go okay. <clears throat> um, okay, there's another one of these. <laughs> uh, okay, fine version 4.6 alright well that's downloading now um, so yeah what I suppose I could do in the meantime as well is I can um, inside my assets folder So I'm making my splash screen thing, because um, actually, really, um, I don't want, I want this one, so create empty, game manager, um, and then oh, fuck's sake. All right, cool. And then and actually, if I go to build settings and just check, all right, cool. So our splash screen is the first thing. Oh, and there we go. Now the uh, pack has downloaded, so I'm just quickly. All right, oh. I'm planning on doing this for like a while. By the way, I, I, I'd, I'd um, I'd estimated that I'd stream for like seven hours. I don't know if that's overkill or what, but um, you know, you never know. I should probably tweet about it as well briefly, but maybe I'll do that in a bit. Um.
this way. Still not quite getting my head around how Visual Studio works, but you know, one one thing at a time. There we go. That's annoying that it got rid of my pinned things though. I was um There's probably a way to open all of these at the same time. So far, okay, now I can start basically adding Sorry, uh, I'm basically I'm just very quickly posting a tweet. It's probably not something people do on streams, just sit and stare at their screen tweeting things. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I'm learning as I go. So where was it? Okay, yeah. Now, now that I've got all that other stuff sorted, um, I can uh, start unhiding this sort of stuff, and I can also um, all right. So the game manager has both of those, and then yeah, cool. Um, Cool. 
Okay, so we need a game object called level changer. I actually can't remember exactly the. Um, I think it was like this. You know what? I think this is a good point uh, now to very quickly drop out of this project and drop back into um, my test late one just to double check how that's done because you know if it, if it worked well on that then I don't need to re redo it for this um, and yeah Someday I'm going to get a better computer as well, for what it's worth. Um, yeah. Come on. There we go. All right. So, um, once it eventually loads up, as you can see, I'm using a very outdated version of Unity now. Um, so I'm going to update that before the next stream. Uh, and hopefully the project will still work but even if it doesn't at least it's an early stage and there won't be too much to fix um, before it does but I'm not going to do that while I'm streaming and I'll just get on with the project in the meantime alright so what you can see here they've got a wild goat games logo which I'm going to be putting into this one as well and in fact so I can see that it's uh, uh, d -d 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 0.2 is the scale uh, so I'm going to make a note of that on my piece of paper. Okay, 0 0.2 scale logo. Um, and uh, more importantly, game manager, which has state manager and game data attached to it. Um, and that's it. Uh, and then level changer. But what's within that? Uh, yeah, okay, now I remember. And then So it goes up to 75 frames uh, and at 30 frames. Yeah, okay. So from from 30 frames to 75 frames that's when the thingy happens okay so there's level changer with that script uh, attached and then there's uh, for some reason that animator is not enabled um, not really sure what's going on there okay Level change of canvas fade screen. Okay. Uh, open project. And now we're gonna skip back to the uh, back to the new one. Odd one in. I like the name by the way. Um, it's um, uh, what I'm trying to do now. Uh, now that I've um, released one game publicly, and it kind of you know no one actually played. Well, no friends and family played it, which is nice, and, and I'm sure like maybe a couple of people on the internet downloaded it but um, what I found was quite tough is talking to people about it I had to like spell out the name uh, I had to say like oh it's called Tessellate T-E-S-S-E-L-L-8 like a number 8 but like the word Tessellate and it was just too confusing and actually it didn't really 
enormously explain the mechanic of the game. So what I'm going to try and do now is come up with names that pretty much sum up what you're trying to do, you know, what the game is actually about or what it, what it achieves uh, or what the objective is. <clears throat> Which is why this one's called Odd One In, because the, the mechanic is going to be something like, spot the odd one in. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's that. Anyway, so there's my level changer. Oh, uh, control. There we go. What oh, weird. That's a that's a shitty shortcut. I really miss the um. <clears throat> Seems to be a lot of things getting flagged as problematic. Oh, 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 that's that's. That's not what I want. Okay. That's how I have to do it. What a weird thing though. So it, it, it tries to get me to anyway, whatever. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> That's a lot of uh Okay, to be fair, whatever those whatever those supposed um squiggly lines are, um they're not actually so relevant. Okay. Um. This is the problem with copy and pasting stuff across from another project <laughs> instead of doing it from scratch. But I'll figure it out. First thing I'm going to do is delete 90% of these because that was for the other game. All right, so instead, now I've got okay, so it's actually quite straightforward. So, yeah, find game manager. Hold on, I've got to Google this because it's really bothering me. This um, predefined type system.void is not defined or imported. Um, 
it's not defined or imported. Project settings, uh, wherever it is. Might be taking a second to open them up. Oh, there's project settings. Okay, I'm an idiot. Um, so, what were they saying? Project settings, player. Um, oh. as well. Um, Shit, just to uh, <coughs> oh, it appears to have fixed it. Brilliant, amazing, amazing, amazing. Look, no, uh. No more, no more squiggly lines. Thank fuck for that, because that was infuriating. Okay, thank you, random uh, Unity forums uh, thread. All right. Um, cool. Okay. So, ah, uh, that's so much easier to read. All right. <clears throat> So it has this thing fade to scene. Um,
All right, cool. So we want to create a uh, canvas. And uh, within that, we are going to create a what was the thing we wanted to put? Um, was it a panel? You know what would be amazing if I could just take the animation thing I did for this for the previous game and then just like cut and paste it across. I'm pretty sure that was a background noise on my side, not from the music of a cat. Let's see if I click, one of them's going to come. Um, but anyway, well, whatever. Um, all right, so. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You know what, I'm going to be extra annoying and switch between projects again. Because um, I don't want to mess this up, basically. And you know what, I'm even going to be extra weird. And I'm going to like record it on my phone so I can refer to it instead of having to keep switching back and forth. Um, so, yeah. Takes a while to load up. Hmm. I think that's an image. So, uh, you know what, uh, I won't, I'm just going to screen capture it, I think. So that's sorry, I'm just uh, doing some screen caps uh, so that I don't have to keep going back. one uh, and then in here we 
we got uh, this one. Which is the fade screen. Let's save. Right. And then um Yeah, so basically we've got splash fade in which starts black and ends transparent. So we're changing the alpha. And we're unenabling the image at the end. So and that's at 60 frames. So I'm gonna screen grab that. Alright. basically waits 30 seconds and then goes from white to transparent uh, and then we've got fade out which is the same thing but the other way around really messed up the names of these things but whatever um, right okay this is th this is where it gets so it goes from 0 to 45 frames Okay, cool. So, yeah, okay, fine. The animator is attached to the level changer up at the top. That's cool, that makes a lot of sense. Um, getting some retweets which is nice um, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's mostly robots <laughs> seeing as uh, right now the stream is a little bit quiet but that's fine you know it's uh, to be expected and actually that's something if you if you happen to be watching this two hours through um, I'm very aware that this is like a slow burn thing uh, and I'm not anticipating people to find it very interesting um, at least while I'm getting started out and still figuring out stuff um 
what I will say is that um, I'm partially doing it as a way to capture like the whole process and then I can sort of cut it up and post up on social media as well um, things like that um, however further down the line once things get a bit more interesting if people do end up watching that's cool but you know I'm not I'm not right I'm not um, betting everything on on people watching I'm, you know, it's a nice it's a nice awesome bonus if it happens so yeah uh, so if you are watching this you know can we watch the live one <laughs> uh, yeah okay it's kind of weird talking to yourself while you're on the computer by the way it's um yeah um okay fade out so 45 and then that's 75 okay i can remember that I'm gonna scroll that over to there. I'm just gonna do a little screen grab of the whole thing because that'll, that'll just be easier. Okay, and I'll click save and all right, cool, nice. Okay, so I can stop doing that now and I can open a different project again. Um, all right. stupid slow computer taking ages to do anything like I've, I've already got the the laptop I want to get picked out um, but annoyingly it um, it doesn't uh, well an annoyingly it costs money um, and it's gonna be a while before I can afford a better machine so for the time being I just doing what I can with this okay so if I go to the canvas, um, it is essentially da, 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 da. Uh, screen space overlay. Yep, 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 yep. I'll put that up to 999 as well, just to make sure it's always on top of everything. Uh, da, da, constant pixel size 100. Okay, so that's all fine. That's just standard, whatever. Um, all right, so then fade screen, canvas renderer. Okay, so it's fine. It's fine as it is. Um, and actually all of those numbers look pretty much the same um, so Um, all right, okay, yeah, that all looks fine as well. So, then actually, all I really need to do is create the um, create the uh, an animations. Um, all right, so, um So to do that, oh fuck 
like, oh, what's the compiler error? Um, ah. That's right. So in game data ref. Mm -mm -mm. You know what, I'm going to very quickly check uh, my other one again, uh, because that way I can make sure uh, any other critical things I can just quickly add in and it'll save me some time. So, um, So it really is just those. Um, you know what? I don't need that to be an array. If I look down here at how I was doing it before. Okay, no, maybe I will, maybe I will do it as an array. Um, I realise this is probably all seems quite counterintuitive, doing it like this instead of from start to scratch, but fuck it. Because here I can just already establish what those three scenes were. So I've got my um, that's it there's the splash screen there's the main menu and then there's gameplay and actually it doesn't it doesn't differ so um, so that's all I all I need there So now we've got that and also I'm just very quickly going to check in this because what I also want to do is um um 
as my start. That's the one I want. Oh, okay. I already. did it okay so basically when the game starts up this is going to um, create a uh, array for the different scenes to load um, and then over here on my level changer um, it's basically going to say um, yeah, it's gonna say um, Yeah, that's all I need. Main menu and gameplay. Okay. So. And actually, I don't ever need anything else. So that's. Well, that's perfect. Alright. So there's that. Um. And something else is um, basically that the uh, I'm gonna oh come on don't be a dick uh, look, why are you being weird um. So in here, so, uh, game feature is whatever, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, and actually it's already gonna not destroy anything that's attached to that. So I think that's all fine. And now I can add my, now I can add my, there's gonna be a bunch of errors in the console I think because oh or not that's nice but now I need to add my animations so going back to my um, going back to my screen caps um, we got the first animation which is splash fade in so um, and those oh wait yeah fuck that's what I need to do as well So what I didn't do was get a screen grab of what was on the level change thing. But <clears throat> if I remember correctly, um, it was essentially uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Um, there was an animator, obviously. Um, yeah. Um, oh, and obviously my my level changer script which then we can drag that animator onto there um, and the scene to load I think that was still set at zero um, so yeah right, well, we'll check that in a second uh, alright so um, all right, I'm very quickly going to be super annoying and I'm going to switch back to my other project just to very quickly check and take another screen grab of what was on there. Um, cool, so uh, what am I doing? Da, 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 da. Oh, 
All right, nice. Oh, and that was the other thing I was gonna do. What was the scale? What was the position? Okay, it's just zero, zero, zero of that one. Okay, fine. And then within here, uh, yeah, so there you go. So I've got it seen to load zero. So, all right. Oh, uh, we've got a. Oh, Fangirl Billy, thank you for uh, following. That's very nice of you. This is my first stream, so it's all it's all new for me. Um. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, oh yeah, taking a screen grab. Something I need to figure out for my next stream as well is how to. I don't really like my dual screen. Uh, display that I've got um, within Streamlabs but I'm going to do one that's a portion of the left screen and all of the right screen because that way it's not too messy um, and people can see what I'm doing on the second screen um, all right cool so I'm just gonna save that for the time being I'm gonna and okay now I can switch back to the other one um, Uh, all right, odd one in. That's the new game. When Unity eventually loads up. And actually, while I'm... Oh, no, that was pretty quick. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, so while it's still fresh in my mind, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to check my screen grab. And this thing okay so the uh, controller oh yeah that's what it is I've got to put wait oh, fuck, what am I doing oh yeah okay See on my other one, I've got a. Uh, oh no! Uh, if it'll let me zoom. Fuck off. On my other one, I've got uh, the level changer thing as the controller, and I can't remember. You know what? I think if I just start creating animations, it's going to fix itself. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, so that should all that should all work fine. Um, all right, so now I can uh, create my animations. So uh, create the first one, uh, and it's. Splash, splash uh, underscore fade underscore in is the way I called it before. Um, basically, what I'm doing at the moment is um, I am adding in some stuff that I figured out on my last project about 15 or 16 months ago. Um, and instead of doing it from scratch, I'm just trying to replicate what I did the previous time. Uh, it's basically just like creating a splash screen with a logo on it and then fading in and then going into the main menu so uh it's a bit bit of a slow yeah there we go see it's fixed itself and now it says level change it there perfect uh, that's exactly what i wanted uh right so uh what i can do here first of all i'm going to rename this as fade screen um hopefully my me tappy mechanical keyboard isn't too <clears throat> too loud or annoying by the way um, all right, so that's called fade screen, and then we're going to add a property. Um, all 
no we're not going to do that we're just going to record so um and we want it to start uh, enabled um, yeah oh you know what it's an image it's not a panel so I'm just gonna delete that first <laughs> uh, it, which is seems counterintuitive but uh, before I was using a image so I'm just gonna be extra careful um, Cool. Um, and actually, so while we're on that, um, all right. So it was an image, and the transform was zero. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. And then everything else was. Hmm. Or was it an image? Um, okay, now I'm uh, <clears throat> now I'm now I'm needlessly confusing myself. Um, ba -ba -ba. Ah, uh, no, I know what it was. I'm an idiot. Alright, it was a panel. Uh, but, that's what it was. Uh, it was the image. So, the image is enabled, and the image color uh, is, yeah, exactly that. It's uh, alpha of 1. And starts off black because basically the Unity splash screen that comes before it is also black. So basically, I want it to transition from the Unity screen to this black screen, which then fades out and reveals a logo. Um, so that should all be fine. And then uh, over here at 30 seconds, it's literally the same thing. So that and that. And then over here, uh, um, uh, I think it was 70, uh, let's zoom out a bit, there we go, <clears throat> 75 frames, uh, I want it to be um, uh, image not enabled and the colour is um, zero, or the alpha is zero. And so in theory, if I stop recording now, if I go back, I can press play. There we go. Nice. All right. Here we go. Now we're starting to make progress. Um, okay. So uh, if I go over to um, what's it called? Da -da -da -da. Um, all right. So if I go over here to uh, well, first of all, I'm going to go back. <coughs> 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 what I want to do now if I go to my assets and I can create a new folder I'm going to call it textures and then uh, create folder logos all right uh, so and then I'm going to drag and drop into here um, straight from the tessellate folder assets Textures, logos. Oh, funny that I've got the same. All right, there we go. All right, so now I've got that logo. Um, I can. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Uh, 
don't think I need this event system. I think I can delete it. Um, Wild Goat Games logo. All right, very nice. Okay, so this is where stuff gets interesting because, okay, so the scale is um, 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, okay, and then actually that pretty much looks exactly how I wanted to. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna very quickly take a quick break for just a second. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a second. Just gonna take a quick break for just a moment.
All right, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. I was uh, going to get another coffee. <laughs> um, because you know, and I'm still for the moment, I'm resisting the temptation to um close my blinds and turn them out because it's still light outside, but it's getting pretty dark. Um, anyway, okay, right. So, where do we get to? Um, so we we have our uh, logo now in there, but what I want to do is make sure it's scaling. Um, yeah, I want to make sure that it's scaling properly. So actually, what I might do um, I can add a uh, Oh no, I can't add a rec transform, whatever. Um, I'm going to temporarily delete that <laughs> and instead I'm going to add it as uh, an image. Uh, except, no, I don't want that. Uh, what if I add it as its own canvas down here? Let's do that. Um, Preserve the aspect ratio, and uh, we are going to go for uh, width. I don't know. Eight hundred and height. Well, actually, we can just put that as eight hundred as well, seeing as it's preserving the aspect ratio. And then uh, that should be. Okay. Um, all right. And so let's say let's say that's what we want. Um, and then, okay. So what I want to check is if I change it to a square thing. Uh, oh look, it's completely messed up the. Um, So when I do when I do it like that, it works fine. Okay, so what I want to do um, is basically preserve. Uh, I wonder if I just if I just go for this one, how will that deal with it? Do I want a massive logo if it's on iPad that fills the entire screen? Seems a bit obnoxious. Um, oh, and the landscape really messes up. No, instead of that, I think I'm going to go for... Um, hmm. What if it's just doing it like that? Um, so it's just anchored to the left and right side. So then when I change the screen size... All right. No. Oh. <laughs> Still uh uh Mm. You know what? Fuck it. I think that's I think that's okay. Okay, so let's just quickly test. I'm going to call that one Wildcat Games logo again so that now it's all working okay. So now, I think in theory, if I click play, it should. Yo. 
All right, so that works a bit. But what I do need to do for starters is actually do something with my main camera. Uh, solid color and it's going to be white. Very nice. Um, so I think all the rest of those settings are fine actually, as far as I can remember. Um, all right. Yeah. Ah, balls, that's what I needed to do. Uh, I need to create a folder uh, called animations all right because uh, I'm an idiot and I yeah, there we go I don't want it to loop all right Alright, and this is where it uh, gets a bit more complicated again, so I'm just going to go back and check my level changer. So basically, well, let's check, okay, it's begin state starts, and then, uh, that's right, I commented out all of this stuff. Let's see if I can do it this time. Control K U. There we go. And I didn't fuck up the cases or anything like that. Perfect. So, um quick sip of coffee because you know um, I need it to live um, <clears throat> that's not true uh, okay so what we're saying is um, so actually we can we can get rid of that bit now because we don't we don't need that bit anymore all right so we're saying um, uh, if uh, da, 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 if um, it's not the the main menu scene, then um, which doesn't exist yet, but we're going to create one in a second. Um, then if fade timer, which is at zero at the beginning, uh, is less than two point five seconds or less than 2.5 increase it by time dot delta time so basically increase it by the actual time as it passes um, and it'll just keep doing that until it gets the thing and then it's going to say once it hits two and a half seconds it's then going to go to the level changer um, and it's going to do um, the function fade to scene with the uh, parameter one so here's fade to scene uh, and the parameter is the build index number. So basically that's in the uh, da, 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 build settings. Over here, we've got, uh, when it finally loads, uh, we've obviously got zero there, and then there's gonna be a new one, which is um, the main menu. Um, and that's gonna be number one. So, if I go back to this, um, <clears throat> all right so what I want is um, set trigger splash fade out and I apologize in advance because this is going to be another um, situation where I need to check exactly how I did it in the other one but that's you know fine I don't really get what these things up here are. I mean, I can see what they are. They're references to different levels of thing in in this file, but um, it's not something I'm completely familiar with. But anyway, um, all right, so. Uh, what do I need to do now? I need to create a, uh, well, a scene for the main menu, but also, I need to uh, 
yeah, I'm going to go into the other project and look at exactly how I set up these sorts of um, triggers and parameters and all that sort of stuff because it gets pretty complicated pretty quickly from what I remember. And I've, <clears throat> I've come this far doing the same thing that I was doing before. So, uh, yeah. All right. So very quickly, I'm going to get to open project and I'm going to reopen Tessellate and see how I did it there. All right, very nice. All right, cool, perfect. Okay, so, um, oh, and anyone that's just joined, so what I'm doing at the moment, I'm replicating something I did in a previous project, uh, but it was about 15 months ago, so instead of trying to figure it all out from scratch, I'm like step by step moving it across, and essentially it's gonna show a splash screen uh, at the beginning of the game, so after it says made with Unity or whatever, that annoying free thing that it shows, um, unless you pay for a premium account, then it's going to show my logo and then it's going to fade out and um, show uh, the main menu. So in fact, it's, it'll look a bit like this if I show it quickly in uh, Tessellate how it looks. So this is what we're going for. If it ever loads up. That's a concerningly uh, long time it's taking. I wonder why that is. Mm. There we go. Well, it's being super slow. It's probably because I'm streaming at the same time as doing this, which is taking up extra processing power, but whatever. Um. All right. Anyway, whatever. Uh. Now I see why isn't it there that's what I want okay perfect that's exactly what I was looking for um so what am I doing okay so I've got um, it's starting to get a bit dark now alright so this one just comes in then it goes to uh, okay so the transition is It starts to get a bit more complex at this point. Yeah, I think I can remember that. figure it out I'm pretty sure it does most of that stuff by default <laughs> um, okay so the way I get to this bit Switching back to the other project. Mm. 
Uh, right, great. Cool. So we're loaded back up. Um, <clears throat> all right. So the first thing I'm going to do. Um, well actually, first of all, I want to make my other animations. So um, create new clip. And this one is going to be called. Um, da -da 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 if I just check my screen grabs. Okay, this one's going to be called Fade In. It's a very creative name. Cool. All right, and this one, it's going to start at. Uh, but, but, but it's going to start with a white box. So, um, uh, we're going to go down here to uh, this, and the color is going to be white. And the alpha is going to be one, and uh, the image is going to be enabled. Great. And then uh, we're going to skip ahead to. 30 frames and we're gonna basically add a keyframe for the same thing um, all right and then we're gonna skip ahead to uh, oh, I've done it again uh, uh, ooh, 75 frames um, <clears throat> and um, the color is gonna be oh same but the alpha is gonna be zero and the image is no longer going to be enabled. And that should be everything. Why the fuck is it? Hmm. That's more like it. Nice. Okay, that's much better. All right, so that's that, and there's no funny bullshit going on there because we're going to set our own triggers that the script is running. Uh, okay, so that's great. And then, um, but actually, I want to check the same thing. Yeah, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, I'm going to delete that. I'm gonna record. I'm gonna that's much better. All right, cool. I don't know why it was wasn't working before. Um, all right, now we're gonna make another one. This one is called Fade uh, Out. All right, so uh, 
fade out. We're gonna hit record, and we're gonna um, we're gonna make sure that the image is enabled, um, and it's gonna start with an alpha of zero. Nice, and then we're gonna skip ahead to thirty seconds, and uh, again alpha of zero that's why it wasn't working before because I was doing the image um, RGB but I wasn't changing the alpha and that's probably why okay um, yeah and then I'm gonna make sure that's like that as well and then I'm gonna head over to uh, 75 frames and this is then gonna change to alpha of zero Oh no, it's going to change to an alpha of 1, uh, and image enabled, which reminds me, uh, this should be image unenabled and image unenabled. Okay, cool. So I think, no, <laughs> uh, this should be image enabled. So, Oh, and uh, uh, the color needs to be white. I think that should all right cool so I think that covers all of that um, okay now I can go into here there we go all right um, so what I want to do is pretty much um, uh, yeah okay so this one we already have what I want to do is add a trigger, and the trigger is called um, uh, fade in. I think. Let me just double check in here. So we've got fade in, fade out, and splash fade out. Yes. Okay. Yep. 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 So we've got fade in, uh, and I'm gonna leave all that stuff for the moment because I think it's not necessary. Uh, what it's called splash fade out okay I'm not sure why I called it that I think it would be splash fade in but whatever um, fade out okay so So I think that should all be fine. Um, uh, what I should do though is check the because um, if I remember correctly, there wasn't any. Okay, I can look into that. Um, but then the point here being that I make a transition from 
fading out to fading in. Um, and then the condition for that is to fade in. Uh, that's nice and easy. And then make transition to here. And we are gonna add a condition to uh, fade out. I think, if I remember correctly, that should all work okay. Cause, so if we look in here, um, so we've got, uh, what is it, a, sorry, just a second. Um, if I bring this over here so that it's, uh, 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 mm, ah. just want to make it a bit more legible. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got a thing here where um, when we, so when we're in our, um, begin state and we call this uh, uh, fade to scene thing uh, after two and a half seconds has passed so then we call fade to scene with the argument or parameter or whatever you call it of one um, so then we go over here to level change of fade to scene with the build index number is one um, and so the scene to load is that um, scene number one which will in this case will be the menu screen um, and we're going to go into um, uh, what are we doing? So then we set the trigger. So if, if we're in the splash screen, we set the trigger, um, splash fade out. Otherwise, we set fade out, um, which makes sense. And then on fade complete. Oh yeah, that was it. I need a on fade complete as one of the things. Um, so that's for fade out. interesting okay so that's all fine um, but uh, something I wanted to check was the um, um, <clears throat> shit, what was it? oh yeah I wanted to check my timings were the same as what I've got written here um, so if I just sorry if I sort my stuff out. Um, uh, all right, so ah, it's not the same. Instead, I've got. Um, delete those these ones can be dragged to uh, 45 and then at 75 instead I've got one of these and um, we want uh, on fade complete nice okay that makes more sense um, and while we're at it so I'm just gonna quickly check fade, fade in that looks the same yep um and uh where else are we um splash fade in <clears throat> so that one is just zero to one minute so i have a feeling we can get rid of that Oh, yeah, that's what I want. All right. Cool. OK, 
okay i think i think we're getting there um so what we need now for that script to work is we need to create a new scene um which is called Main menu. All right. So for this, uh, it's again solid color, and that color is white. How does Bob Ross say it? White. Uh, all right. And we're just going to. Um, For the time being, I'm literally just going to whack a thing there that says um, uh, da, 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 da. main menu. Okay. One thing I like about having this microphone, by the way, is in my ears everything sounds super bassy. Um, it doesn't actually sound that basically on the stream itself um, or on the recording or anything like that but um, the way it sounds in my ears is like super like deep <laughs> so it's, it's kind of funny hearing yourself like that anyway whatever um, so um, and actually I think this canvas let's go for screen space and the camera is going to be this camera. All right, because that's so much easier than doing all that bollocks around um, the other stuff. So um, the position is going to be zero and um, uh, let's go for width. We'll do it the same as the as the um, as the other thing. Uh, um, yeah, so that should be in the middle. Um, oh yeah, so assets um, create folder fonts because we're going to add some fonts at some point. But uh, you know what? Actually, for the time being, we'll keep it as the default because we don't actually care. Um, and we'll just have it say that. Okay, so fine. Uh, and then we go to File, Build Settings. Uh, and we're gonna add the open scenes. Hooray, there we go. We, so we got scene zero is splash screen, screen uh, bit, scene one is main menu. Um, and yeah, uh, and so basically, um, uh, so when we do this scene switcher thing, which is triggered somewhere else in here, I can't remember where. Um, or at least I think it is. Maybe it's all going to be a, a mess. But um, oh no, sorry, because it's um, yeah, okay. So I think. can't figure out how to how to move that around properly um, Sorry about that dicking around, I'm not sure what I was doing there. Um, but, um, so 
So what's using this scene switcher thing? Oh. That's what it is. So it's every every second it's or every frame it's checking for that. Okay, I now I know. And just so just to check, so these are all gonna be set to false by default. And then once it's successfully loaded the thing. Okay, cool. So in theory, if I go here and switch back to my splash screen, I think if I click play, it should uh, Ah <laughs> Okay, so it fade, it faded in, but um the transition to fade out didn't happen uh, and I'll be back in just a second to figure out why uh, I'm just gonna take a quick break for a second because that's what happens when you drink lots of coffee uh, what am I doing okay be uh, yep, 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 yep. okay uh, I'll be back in just uh, a minute All right, hey guys, I'm back. Um, so uh, you might have noticed I've uh, I've turned the light on now because it was getting a bit gloomy. So what was happening before was that the I'll just try it again. So when I click play, the uh, the first animation happens fine, but then nothing else happens. And I wonder is it something to do with this? Yeah, I reckon it's got something to do with this. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, let's have a look. What's it saying? Yeah, so it's literally every line. Um, so, uh, object reference not set to an instance of an object. Uh, that old classic. Okay, begin state, row 37. Uh, let's have a look. What does it say? So if I go to begin state. Ah, didn't mean to do control A. Um, You know what? I think I'm pretty sure it's just because I didn't hit save. So I guess let's try it again. Oh no. Something's still happening. Begin state uh line thirty-two. Have I not 
said what game data ref is. Man it should be manager that game data is ref. Ah, I haven't. Oops. Um. All right. Let me just quickly check in state manager here. Where did I put it? Um. In I put it in start before that. You know what? I'm literally just gonna cut and paste because. Yeah, it would be helpful if our um, state manager script also um, knew what the game data script was. Okay, now it should work. Come on. All right. That's a good start. Something weird happened there though. I know what it is. I've got these things set to loop because uh, I forgot to fix them. So actually if I go into project and I think if I go into the animations folder I'm gonna not loop that. I'm gonna not loop that. And that one's already not looping which is why it worked perfectly. Alright, come on. So it faded in, it's faded out. Now we're in the menu. There we go. All right. Okay. Now we now now we got to think. And now if I hit um, space, oh now we're playing the game. And if I hit space, oh now we're in the game over screen. And um, if I uh, press space again, now we're playing again. And now we're game over again. And I'm going to hit thing, and now we're back in the menu. Boom, okay, perfect. Um, so, all right, so before I do anything else, I'm gonna save this project and I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna give it another name. Uh, yeah, so basically I'm gonna go into my Unity projects. Uh, I'm gonna, Basically, I'm keeping a record of this, and um, uh, working state machine template twenty twenty. Uh, I'm going to very quickly close Unity so that it'll let me <laughs> let me do that. Oh, that's fine because I've got uh, this open as well. So let me quickly do that. Um, all right, and then try again. Call this uh, da, 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 da. Uh, state machine template 2020. And then if I go into here, and I'll also call that state machine template. Ah. Because uh, it didn't work, so I'm actually going to delete that. new folder 
state uh, machine template 2020. Copy this. Okay. All right, hopefully it should work this time. This is my mug that's shaped like a skull, by the way. There you go. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we're we're three hours in, um, and pretty good, yeah. I've got two followers now since starting. That's I, I'd say that's pretty good going, um, and yeah. Hmm. It might just be that I have to do this from scratch every time, um, we'll see. But maybe the fact that the way the code's worked out in there might be enough to kind of whatever. But anyway, okay, so now that that's done, uh, I can open up Unity again. Odd one in. I'm looking forward to making logo designs for that stuff as well, by the way. There's some very... Uh, very fun ideas I've got for how that'll look. Quite minimalist again. Alright, so let's just double check this all works fine. Okay, so it loads in like that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and something else I wanted to check actually before I do anything else. Because um, basically, I've actually got, um, I've got a, a phone with a Unity remote connected to it. Um, so for button inputs and things like that and actual testing gameplay and um, for some reason at the moment it's not working and it's probably because um, there we go any Android device okay now it should work moment of truth Ugh. oh there we go success hooray there we go there's the main menu Oh, but what it does do is it rotates, and uh, I don't want it to do that, so that's something to fix. But uh, yeah, it works anyway, which is perfect. Um, all right, so now I can go back into player settings down here, because um, I think somewhere in here I can lock the uh, da, 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 da. Well, first thing I'm going to do odd one in so that I've now got a reference of it and it's all ready to kind of be published and stuff um, and yeah I'm gonna stop messing around with that shit um, what was I gonna do uh, oh yeah I was I was trying to figure out resolution presentation that's what I want I want it to um, default orientation portrait and so now when I click play, let's have a look. Um, there we go. See, it's not doing it anymore. It's not. Um, it should. There we go. See, it's not. It's not scaling. So nice. All right. Okay. Cool. So now, um, so we've got the working state machine. Uh, we've got um, two of our three scenes with, that we needed. Um, so now, uh, fuck. I suppose. Well, I suppose uh, I'd, I'd put some impromptu buttons on the menu because uh, I don't need to do anything with the with the uh, splash screen anymore. So I can put some buttons on the main menu, and um, 
Now I'm going to go to yeah, scenes, uh, create, um, do a new scene. Where is it? Uh, uh, am I being an idiot? Oh, scene, there we go. Yeah. Um, and I guess we'll call this, uh, what will we call it? Gameplay. Um, because yeah, there's just, there's only going to be one scene for gameplay. So we'll just call it what it is. Um, before we do anything else, uh, let's go to the build settings and we can add that as an open scene. Uh, sorry, add the open scene as well. So, uh, and then we've got zero is splash screen, one is main menu, and two is gameplay perfect. So then if we, ah, balls, I shouldn't have opened it up like that. <laughs> I'm trying to open Visual Studio, and yeah, I'm going to close it again. And instead, I'm going to go here and open C Sharp Project. Okay, that should work this time instead. And uh, for anyone that's um, just joined, uh, basically I'm starting a new project and it's um, at the moment we're at the point where I've got my different states so uh, I've put in a state machine so I can switch between um, the menu state and the gameplay state and stuff like that um, and yeah so that's cool because that was the first item on my to-do list um, and now I can start building in assets and stuff like that so um, yeah it's uh, Fortunately, it's getting a bit more interesting now. Um, I'm actually not really going to do anything with this gameplay scene at the moment, though, other than just put it there. And you know what? I will also... I'm going to put in a text box that <laughs> just so I know what, what's going on. Um, and oh, well, before I do that, I'll go to uh, World Space. Um, and... Uh, okay, there we go. I'm just going to put the position to zero uh, or whatever, and this is going to be zero, zero as well. Uh, and we're just going to put the word gameplay in the middle. Um, I'm just checking it's not okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I think I fucked something up uh, just then. Let's... That's what I want. Screen space camera, not screen space overlay. Uh, yep, so that's all fine. And then now I can change this to zero, zero, so it's centered. Uh, I can change that to that and that. And I'll whack up the font size really, really massive. Oh yeah, and I'm going to change the width to 800, and the height to 800 because whatever. And now it's going to say gameplay, <clears throat> big capital letters, uh, and you know what? Let's make it even. Okay, whatever. Uh, all right, fine. Um, just so that I've got a reference for um, once I'm in that gameplay scene, so. I think now, if I go to, so what What I want to happen now is if I'm in the menu state, um, and actually I'm going to reference my other stuff here, so, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, sorry, this is me referencing my, my other project where I had the same thing working, um, and I'm looking for... Um, okay it's not actually in there is it I know where it is it's in if I go over here to uh, I want unity projects say assets code scripts and then there is main menu button controller if I just open that I'm using notepad plus plus so that I don't confuse myself with um Visual Studio for the current project and then reviewing this old one. Okay, so um, what I actually want 
um, da, 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 da. I'm probably going to make a similar script called Main Menu Button Controller, um, but I'm certainly not going to go through and copy and paste everything like I did for the other stuff because that would be counterintuitive. But what I do want to know is how did I control the switching of the states from the main menu? I think if someone clicks play button, um, then that does that or whatever, and then. Somewhere in here, there will be a um, what was I doing before that was um, all right. This may take some, <laughs> this might take some investigating. Um, ah, I know there's a separate script called level select button controller which would handle it. See. This is the problem when you have a, a, a project that you plan to take three months and then you end up spending 15 months on and it's your first um, mobile app. There's just like a lot of shit that uh, when you try and go back to it is just a fucking mess. Um, and I'm uh, wallowing in that now. All right, so there's a bunch of scripts that update buttons that aren't very important. Button update, button update, whatever. Um, what I want is what happens when someone presses the button and I believe it will be um, initiating level change based on what was previously written in menu state okay so yeah so we've got like this load scene thing here and this is just some stuff that updates the pictures on the buttons um, Okay, that's not important. All right, but uh, so we've got um, this load scene thing. I'm going to copy that because, for the time being, um, I am going to create another C sharp script, and I'm going to call it main menu button controller. All right, and uh, I'm also going to switch scenes to the main menu. That would help if it'll let me. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're in the main menu screen, and for now, let's add in on the canvas. Um, let's add a button. There we go. Um, let's move it down there, uh, and that button is going to be called. Uh, uh, I'm not going to write everything in caps. Uh, play game button. Uh, as far as I remember, spaces don't matter for stuff in here. Um, so I'm going to look like an idiot if that's not the case. Uh, the text on the button is going to say play game. All right, and the only the only real purpose of this button is that it's going to sit here and it's going to take us from the main menu to our play game to our gameplay state and our gameplay scene. So, uh, fine, whatever. Um, if I remember correctly, I should be adding my main menu button controller script to the uh, button. So there we go. It's attached there now. Um, on click uh, yeah we're gonna have that and right now there is no function to select but uh, that's the whole point of doing this because now I can open this up all right so we got main menu button controller uh, why is why is navigating these tabs so weird on um, Visual Studio as well <clears throat> uh, I'd imagine it's funny because earlier in the stream I was complaining about Visual Studio and said how much I preferred mono behavior and then um, basically mono behavior um, stopped working properly so I was forced to switch to uh, Visual Studio which it turns out is what Unity recommends as well and I was just using a really outdated version um, and hadn't switched so there you go uh, now the real question is why is this Ah, yeah, there's a whole bunch of crap that I forgot to include. Let's have a quick look. 
Um, oh, well, the stuff about audio sources, we don't care about that for the time being. So we can get rid of that. We just want the most basic. Uh, and actually, for now, let's uncomment that because we want a debug log showing us when something like that's happening. All right, so. <clears throat> uh, and also, we, we are not bothered about a coroutine that gets rid of menu music. Um, ah, but what we do care about is this level change ref thing here. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and hazard a guess instead of copy and pasting. Um, uh, private level changer, um, level changer ref. All right, and then um, down here we're going to say level changer ref equals. Um, uh, da, 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 let me remember now uh, because it's been <laughs> um, uh, uh, you know what I'm just going to check how I wrote before it's crazy I spent so much time getting um, my game published um, that uh, there are some really basic things that I've forgotten how to do uh, so manager game object oh that's it game object find get component fine um, you know what, fuck it, I am just going to copy and paste that because it's going to be exactly the same as what I need on my own thing. Um, and, you know, honestly, who gives a shit? So, uh, da, 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 da. actually, while we're at it, so um, that's what we want. Okay. Cool. Ah, scene to load index number. Oh yeah, shit. Uh, well, actually, we don't need that because it's always going to be. That was something to do with the other one because we were trying to load up a lot of complicated different things, whereas actually. Uh, we don't need that. All we need is the the scene to load. Um, oh no, I suppose. Okay, yeah, no, hold on. Uh, public int uh, scene to load index number. Hopefully, I've written that the same way. Um, Scene to load index number. Uh, uh, no, you know what we're going to do? We're going to say, ah, we're not going to do that. Um, if scene to load index number equals null. Um, if scene to load index number is equal to null, mm. not null then. You know what we'll leave that and we'll just make sure it's done in the editor instead of faffing about with code um, okay so okay great so in theory this should be um, all right so now we're back in unity uh, let's save that quickly we don't need the text so we'll hide that um, 
All right, and we want the function um, load scene. And then the scene to load will be number two. But then what we also want to make sure we do is we want to update our script for menu state. So instead of being get key down space that um, switches us to play state, what we want to do, if I just check in here, so menu state, how do we switch? So this is a bunch of bollocks about um, Hmm, so over here I've got I've got a thing where I'm setting the trigger to fade in. Uh, you know what I'm gonna put it in my one as well just just to be Well no, hold on. Let's um let's try it again just to see. Okay, so it loads up. Which is and it fades in. So So I don't I don't think I need that because well we'll see. For now I'm gonna leave it out. There's no point copy and pasting stuff around me. For all I know it's probably a mistake from my old one. Um, hmm, interesting. I think my um, level changer handles the, yeah, okay. So my, my uh, level manager thing does it. Okay, so actually, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking try it. All right, so in the splash screen we're loading up switch to the menu and, and that's done that now if I click the button it works oh I'm glad I <laughs> I'm glad I moved that stuff off from the other project um, alright so oh, now that that now that that exists um, Okay, so at this point, I need to think about um, da, 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 da. Uh, hmm, I wonder why it's not picking up my lame little space bar presses. Anyway, whatever. 
Um, okay. I'll figure it out at some point. Um, no, wait, hold on. I, I need to figure that out now because something obviously wasn't working properly. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a moment just thinking. Um, right, so if I try it again, just to check, maybe I can add a button um, or something that serves the same mechanism. Okay, so that all works fine because we're now, if I check the console, we're now in the menu and all the rest of it. So if I click on this button, button pressed, you are now in play state and here is the gameplay. In theory now, I should be able to press space and it should, you know, state manager's there, we brought everything with us. Um, so, why isn't it working? I wonder why that is. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, we'll try. We'll try um, instead of this. We can do a similar thing where we. Uh, <coughs> Um, yeah, okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're, gonna, we're just gonna temporarily add a button, um, and we'll add a script called Gameplay Button Controller um, as well. So if I go to scripts and I go to create C sharp script, and we'll call it Gameplay Button Controller. Oh, that's a very loud. Um, most bike outside, or at least in my ears, it's loud. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it is on the recording afterwards. But um, you know, um, all right. Let's see. So, uh, da, 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 da. all right. This one can go to the end. All right, so um, all right. Oh, I have a feeling I know why it is before I do anything else. Let's just see, does that, does that already uh, fix what was going on before? Let's find out. Uh, so scenes, uh, we're gonna go to um, uh, 
splash screen and we're going to click play and we're going to have a look to see if that sorts it so what i think was happening um was that it didn't have the right um stuff in the whatever the you know the right um references or whatever they call it collections or some um, name namespace is it a namespace something like that uh, so it couldn't access the right uh, assets but that might not be the case at all so we'll see uh, maybe it's maybe it is that but in a different script um, so main menu do this and it's yeah we're now in play state I hit space and nothing happens bollocks um, I wonder if I go to uh, level changer let's just check am I using the same things as level changer here yep I am uh, game data am I missing something there um, probably not I think I've got pretty much the same ones you know I got the same ones and surely it would it would come up with an error if I was using something differently so back to plan a um, And actually, what we're going to do, um, first of all, I'm going to change the scene to main menu, and I'm going to get that button, and uh, the button size is going to be much bigger. So we have the 600 by, let's say, 300, and then uh, the text is going to be massive. Uh, so the font size is going to be there we go that's more like it okay so a big play game button there that looks horrible but that's just because it's just to check everything else works okay and now we're going to go to uh, the what should we call it uh, so now we're in our gameplay scene and to be honest we're going to do the same thing and we're going to add um, we're going to add a button as well all right so this one is um move it down a bit it doesn't matter where because it's going to get deleted uh, but let's make it the same size as the other so I think that was 600 by uh, 300 looks about right I'm gonna uh, make sure that the text is um, something like um, oh game over man oh not plan <laughs> I was thinking of the word play uh, Right, so that's fine, and then we're gonna. Yeah. All right, fine. Okay, so then we got this button, um, and now we're going to. Oh, we're gonna add the script to it. So uh, scripts. I'm gonna add uh, gameplay button controller as the script, and then we're gonna add that there. And there isn't a function in there at the moment, so just like all the other stuff, we're gonna go. We're going to go back over here and we're going to add um, something else. So, da, 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 gameplay button controller. Um, boy, uh, public void, yeah, that's the one. Public void, uh, and we're going to call it something like game over ah no that's not what I wanted <laughs> there that's what I wanted okay so uh, game over and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our menu state um, no our menu state sorry our play state uh, and we're just going to add in uh, this and we're gonna delete that from here uh, so basically this uh, well we'll see I'm sure the way I do all these things isn't um, isn't the smartest way to do them either but whatever alright cool so we got that uh, and you know what, just in case, I'm going to whack all of these in here as well. B, 
because actually, uh, well, we'll see. Oh, there's a cat here. Um, Brian, do you want to come up? He's been asleep for quite a long time. Um, all right, so what was I doing? Hey, 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 hey. Be careful. Yeah. Don't know, that might be audible on the, on the stream, might not be. What you up to, dude? Come. Yeah? You want to come up? Oh, I'm just going to let him do whatever he's doing. Um, actually, let's not use them. Oh, look, there's a cat. Um, you're blocking the screen and you're wiping your hairs all over it. Come on, buddy. All right. Um, problem child. Uh, all right, so, uh, manager, and then, ah, that's what we need. We need a reference to the manager. Um, so the manager is this. Hey, buddy, stop it. Come on, don't be a dick. Um, uh, he's just uh, he's just off camera, but um, he's know, he's being an asshole. Um, okay. Yeah, that's that's um, maybe what's going on. Ah, no, that's what I want. Assets, codes, states. Right, so I think, in theory, um, oh, you're very warm, Brian. Okay. Hey, buddy. You wanna come over here? Oh, okay. <coughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> uh, oh. All right, so, um, hey. <laughs> He's trying to like knock a pen off. No? Oh, rascal. Alright. Um. Alright, so that stuff is done. And now we have a button here. And the button should be able to say game over and just to be uh, let's add a debug game over pressed all right so uh, everything saved yep 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 yep, yep. hey Nice buddy. Um, okay, so now let's go to our scenes again. Um, and let's try some other stuff. Oh, we don't want that though. Uh, we want um, splash screen. All right. My hands are cold for some reason. Okay, so, all right, we run this, and now I should be able to tap it on my phone. So let's see, so we'll tap play game. Uh, then that looks like it worked, yep. Uh, now if I tap game over. Yeah, game over, Brace, you're, you're now in game over state. Okay, that is great because whatever that weird shit was that was problematic before seems to be fixed, so this seems like as good a time as any for me to, uh, uh, oh, it's so funny, like when my, my voice comes in here, I can hear it so much more like richly in my, richly? That sounds like a, you know how Donald, Donald Trump says bigly. Um, uh, but I, it sounds so much richer in my ears. And then when I lean back here, 
it sounds really empty and uh, horrible and like uh, I, I was doing some scouting around of other people's streams before I did this and some people the quality is just fucking dog shit when you see the equipment they've got and it's because they're like putting the microphone way over here or something else and actually if they spent like a couple of hours researching it online uh you know there's lots of things you can do to make sure a microphone sounds a lot better so i don't know that's that's just pointless rant anyway and i became a bit obsessed for a while about um audio quality and it's still not as good as i'd like but um it, you know it's it's okay um anyway right uh, i'm gonna take a quick five minute break i'm gonna get a worrying fourth copy um because i'm kind of in the zone now and um I'm planning on streaming for another three hours, so <laughs> uh, coffee would be good. Uh, so yeah, I will be back in just about five minutes. So uh, I'll be back in a minute.
Hey, what's up? I am back. Uh, it's weirdly cold in my flat at the moment, but I'm, I'm not quite cold enough to uh, put on a jumper because I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, so, what was I doing um, before I, I went to get a, a worrying fourth coffee? Um, so, so far, we've created the state machine um, and it works. 
um, and at this point I need to I'm probably not going to mess around with the main menu too much because actually the main menu doesn't really need to do anything other than have a big play button on it um, at this stage I mean later on it's going to have a leaderboard button as well and settings but at the moment obviously I'm not doing any of those things so actually I can pretty much start um, developing the actual gameplay itself which is crazy because I actually didn't anticipate I would be this far forward um, so it's very exciting um, okay but I'm just quickly gonna test the gameplay how it works again just to make sure it's not too buggy so load it up shows the splash screen cuts the main menu boom there's our main menu then I can press play game it registers the button press it goes into play state here's our gameplay um, and then if I hit the button that says game over man then uh, it says you are now in game over state press uh, space to play again or press return to so if I press uh, okay press return obviously for whatever reason that doesn't work now um, but we'll figure that out later on Okay, so now that all of that's there, um, actually I can pretty much, hmm, let's see, uh, now I'm trying to think about what the actual steps are for the gameplay loop. So when the gameplay starts, what I want it to do is it's going to show, it's going to have some text it's going to show three shapes and it's going to have some text and it's going to say memorize these three shapes or whatever Me memorize these symbols um, and then it's going to cut to a blank screen and it's going to say now spot the odd one in and so you know that basically it's going to be self-explanatory you tap the one that wasn't there before um, because when it re-emerges uh, out of the blank screen there's going to be an additional symbol that wasn't there before and you're going to have to tap the one that was there so oh let's see uh, okay so actually what I think I'm gonna do is um okay if we, if we just load up the gameplay scene for the time being because um, I think we need a couple of things one of them is um, the blank screen that fades in and fades out uh, and that should be like an overlay that covers everything else you can't tap through it you can't mess with anything else um, so we're gonna create um, we're gonna create a new canvas and this one is gonna be called um, blank screen right blank screen canvas just so I remember what it is uh, and that's gonna be yeah that's gonna be an overlay so that's gonna go over the whole screen wipe everything so that people can't see shit um, and yeah, within that we're gonna create a, uh, da -da -da -da, a, a panel um, and it's just going to be uh, da, 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 da. yeah perfect uh, so it's just going to be a plain white screen a sc screen screen <laughs> a plain white screen <laughs> uh, that comes in and comes out a bit like the fade in fade out from the other stuff uh, <sighs> um, <clears throat> blank screen. Uh, right, so that's the blank screen itself. Maybe I'll even put panel on there just so it's super clear. Um, Oh, 
what I want to make sure is that people can't click on the um, on the button through there and I'm pretty sure pretty sure it's something to do with that ray casting stuff but whatever anyway um, I'm pretty sure it'll block it so we'll be fine Uh, and actually for the time being let's add some text to this that just says that message um, um, action text let's call it that Spot the odd one in. Now spot the odd one in. Yeah, that'll do. Um, uh, so this one, let's make it on size quite a bit bigger. Oh yeah, and then yeah, uh, eight hundred by let's say four hundred. It all looks horrible at the moment, but it's more about the functionality than anything else. Uh, da, 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 da. And there's going to be... Uh, gameplay, not gameplay UI. Um, instead, it's going to be gameplay canvas. This is basically going to be the one th that says stuff like, um, uh, da, 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 da. it's it's gonna it's gonna feature like the bar that's showing the countdown. Uh, it's gonna be um, showing the um, the introductory message, which is what I'm doing with it at the moment. Um, so this one is gonna be. Um, camera I suppose I'm always a bit rubbish with these things um actually but before I do that I'm gonna check this overlay one uh, oh no this one should be fine because it's um uh, da, 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 da. oh no it's not fine see and that's why uh, that's why I needed to test that because I've been burned by this before. So if I go back to 9x16 and I go to action text and uh, let's say that one maybe and then let's go to uh, iPhone X. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> uh, there will be some stuff I can do to do with resizing rich text for sure. Why's my music stopped? I'm not even sure how long that was for. I'm just loading it up again. It's probably going to show me an advert now, annoyingly. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Back with the music. Alright. That was randomly quiet for a bit. Um, okay, so... I do want it to be an overlay. Uh, that one just stretches regardless. This one, let's try if we do the stretched each way. Um, 
that's what we want. Scale with screen size. Um, okay. Some sirens outside. Now the real question is, why is it now? Um, was it something to do with? I've got a feeling I had a thing before. Okay, so first of all, I could do it 50-50, and then if I do that, uh, oh, but obviously something I want to do is, um, yeah, yeah, wrap horizontally but overflow vertically. Uh, the point of that being that. Okay. And it still breaks on a on a square test. Not that there is a square device, but So that's that's that, and that scales all right. And so now, uh, this one we want it to scale the screen size, uh, and the size is 19. Uh, no, it's not. It's 1080. Oh, 20. Uh, and we'll. For now, let's set it to 0.5 as well, um, because why not? Uh, in my other game, I had real trouble messing with that stuff, getting it, getting it to scale everything across the whole UI correctly. It was a real pain in the ass, to be honest with you. But again, that's why this game is simpler, so that I don't have to faff about with so much stuff. Um, okay, so this one is is part of the um, screen space rather than an overlay so um, this one by default I want the uh, uh, I want can canvas group and then I want the alpha to be zero all right So we'll turn off all those options just in case. Um, all right, nice. Uh, so that's now invisible. And now this one, uh, we're gonna add a thing that basically says, um, there's gonna be some text and it's gonna say, um, opening text. Memorize these three symbols. I'm just going to put memorize these symbols. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to do it like that, and then it's 
going to be uh, not that it's going to be so let's say like 800 again by like 400 again <laughs> and uh deeper now I'm gonna put this up here like this um, and then you know what we're gonna put in uh, symbols go here <laughs> um, and this button we're just gonna move that further down towards the bottom because basically, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, what I'm hoping is this. Do something like this. Let's have a look now. Does it mess it up? Ooh. Uh, ooh, I'm not so sure about that button, but I guess the image of the button wouldn't change, so that's okay. So we'll keep it. We'll keep it like what I mean is, because eventually for the button, what I'll probably do is I'll just make a button asset in Photoshop or whatever, and then I'll put it in here. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, uh, ignore me. I'm rambling, but um. Oh, ooh. Okay, so maybe instead of that, maybe we go for um, this one instead. See, I never know. Um, okay, so looks good. Ooh, uh, still not, still not great. This is see. This is where I, I fall into uh, troubling territory. Okay, so we're back on this one. Let's instead do what I did last time. Make it 0 0.9 for some reason. So mostly based on the height, and I can't remember why I did that. We'll put it to stretch, uh, and then out oh, curiosity. Okay. All right. Pause. All right. I can I can live with that. That's what I wanted. Okay. Oh, hello, Brian. Hey, why don't you come over here? Come on, jump up. There we go. We got a cat. Oh no, go back over here. Come on. 
No, because you're going to want to climb down here and pester me, aren't you? Okay. Hey, buddy. No, 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 no. Come on, stay over here. And then just, like, chill. He's been asleep for, like, ten hours, so, like, now he wants to, like, fuck around and, you know, be energetic. No, 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 no. Come on, sit down. No, no, no. Okay, he wants to jump on my lap, whatever, fine. Um, anyway, that's enough of that stuff. Um, come on, buddy. Do you want to come up? Come on. Okay. There we go. Okay, I've got a cat on my lap now. Um, okay. Alright, sit down. This is what I have to deal with. Um, Alright, so this one is going to go back to having... Oh, come on, buddy. Uh, alpha of zero. Um, well, you are warm though. Hello. Always a nice boy. Um, okay, so while I sit here stroking a cat uh, <laughs> who's desperate for my attention. Hello, Brian. Yes. Okay, there we go. Why are my hands so cold? Right. Um. Hey, buddy, stop it. It's messing with my um. Uh, microphone. Da, 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 da. Come on. If you're gonna sit here, you gotta chill. Um, now I'm completely forgotten of uh, where I was. Um, okay, so we've hidden the big, the big canvas, um, and now we've got uh, this one, which is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change it to 0 0.9. Oh, no. could have just typed it, but for some reason I didn't want to. Um, all right, so. <clears throat> got a cat just like pestering me as well <laughs> there's a tail here just uh you know laughing about come on buddy yeah, yeah, yeah i know i know um hey come on sit down problem child um right let's just check how that looks looks good looks fine oh but that's not that's what I didn't do I don't think I changed that so if I change that to stretch let's see what happens uh, 9 by 16 9 by 18 um, X. Mm. Well, I can always I can solve it with scaling text sizes as well. I think, but sorry, I've got a cat on my lap that I'm trying to get to chill. Come on, buddy. There we go. Calm down. Have a snooze. Um. Um, okay. Yeah, so basically the reason I'm doing this is that um, once it goes into the gameplay loop, you know, once you hit play on the main menu, I want it to come to the screen and I basically want it to say, 
memorize these three symbols or whatever and there's going to be some randomly generated symbols here um and and then after let's say like uh three seconds uh it's gonna it's gonna switch to a screen uh Uh, that maybe maybe it switches to a screen that says adding an extra symbol. Okay, now spot the old one in or something like that. Um, I don't know. But what I could do for the time being is because um, it feels like I've kind of I've got these now. I've got all the assets I need ready to go. Um, and so really, I want to start randomly generating symbols. Um, so to do that, I'm actually going to go into um, Affinity, Serif Affinity Photo, which is the um, it's basically the software I purchased because um, I didn't really want to pay for a subscription to Adobe Photoshop or Creative Cloud or whatever. Um, and actually. I'm really glad I bought this software. It's awesome. It does um, everything that Photoshop does, but it also, um, well, it's like a one-off fee, uh, and now I've got it, and I can use it as much as I want. So it's awesome. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a, it's I don't know. It's a good piece of software. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm dawdling a bit now because I'm just you know. I'm waiting for it to open up but so in terms of all oh, um, in terms of the randomly generated shapes um, what I'm planning to create is essentially every shape is in fact if I just get my phone out again and I'll show you the same um, I'll show you the same I'm just turning the volume down in case any weird crap pops up um, just give it just a second uh, while that loads up all right, so um, I've lost my streamlabs thing. Okay, right. So you can just about see here on my phone. It's um, it's basically um, you can see the little loading bar at the top, which shows how much time is left before it's game over. Um, and you can see here each of these shapes is made up of two things, or the symbols are made up of two things. One of the things is um like an uh, an outer background shape so that will be something like a triangle a circle a square a hexagon whatever else um and it's going to work like that and then on the um on the other shape it's going to be uh the the inner symbol is going to be something a bit more random it could be one of those shapes as well oh shit i just knocked that and it's probably going to start drooping down now or something or is it okay maybe it's okay this this is the part where it starts uh <laughs> all going wrong because uh i've knocked the, i've knocked the cheap uh mic arm that i purchased um <clears throat> hopefully my my audio is still okay anyway um and it didn't set it off balance or something um okay anyway so the point is i've got my uh I've got my stuff here, so let's go to new. Um, so this is Serif Affinity um, Photo. And yeah, like I was saying, I really recommend it for anyone that's looking for some software um, that's an alternative to Photoshop. I'm sure there are some very talented and intelligent people who would say that Photoshop is 10 times better, and they're probably right for specific use cases but for me as an independent like i'd call myself a hobbyist um it's brilliant and it just you know it does everything i need and it's got quite an active community uh if you need support and uh everything else so anyway and they have good documentation as well actually um so let's i'm gonna make this 500 by oh, uh, 500 by 500 pixels Um, and it's gonna have a transparent background. It's gonna be pixels as the unit, um, and there's not gonna be any margins. Um, 
okay so that's gonna open that up now and yeah basically what I want to do is uh, and let's create a new in the layers okay I think I actually have to have a layer to start that um, what I'm gonna do for the time being uh, let's go down here to the shapes so I'm just gonna start with uh, I'll create my grid yeah so there we go so I'm gonna start with a rectangle or a square in this case uh, so this square is 500 by 500 now the important thing is all of these shapes need to be white in color because that means inside of unity I can um, randomly generate another color that gets overlaid and there's no weird filtering of colors where they get combined or anything if it's white you can set it to any color you like um, or any shade of like white to black any, sh any shade of uh, light or dark that you want and it will work fine um, so you can do it all with the, with uh, a script instead of having tons of unique assets. Okay, so uh, this one's a rectangle. I'm going to hide that for the moment, and I'm also going to create a group, um, and this one is going to be called uh, BG uh, Symbol BG. You know what? I'm just going to call it back uh, ground. And I'm just going to call it background. <laughs> uh, right, background, and then okay, perfect. And now um, let's see what other shapes can we make. Let's go for an ellipse. Uh, okay, and now we've got a circle. You can see what's. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I want it like that. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, and now this one's going to disappear. Uh, and now uh, let's go for another one. Let's go for uh, a rounded rectangle because because why not? So rounded rectangle, and then we're going to drag it out like that. Perfect. Um, and while I do that, because I've had too much coffee, I'm just going to take a very quick break as well. Um, okay, I'll be back in two minutes. Hey guys, uh, yeah, so I'm back, um, and yeah, I'm just uh, saving this file. So this one is going to be 
Hmm. So what I really want to do basically what like Unity allows you to work in Photoshop it allows you to use Photoshop like .psd files as assets which is really helpful because it means you can edit stuff on the fly um, and it's not an issue um, so I don't think well you never know we can try but I have a feeling uh, it's not going to be able to read it but anyway so if I go into Unity projects and I go into odd one in new folder symbols backgrounds and let's make another one called foregrounds and in this folder I'm going to save the symbols template alright cool uh, oh I've got another cat with me hello Oshka there's there's multiple cats um all right so i'm going to save that there and now out of curiosity oh it's visible in there okay so it seems like as expected it doesn't open um, which is fair enough to be completely frank um, you know it is what it is uh, right okay so but I wonder can I change the file type to a PS work in this as a PSD uh, if I export it as a PSD uh, let's go to export in the same folder do it as PSD. All right. Now if we. All right. All right. And let's see. Can I still? know what uh, I'm just gonna this this looks messy so I'm gonna stick with the one that I know and I'm gonna just do it as this and then I'll as required I will just save them as uh, PNG assets um, Well, no, we don't want. We don't want that. We want it to be nice. That's what we wanted. Okay, what other shapes can we add? Let's see. Um, I'm literally just working my way through this. A so rectangle, ellipse, rounded rectangle, triangle. Let's uh. That's a triangle. Um, of course, the real question is going to be, how do I... There has to be like a safe zone, you know? Um, that basically, across all shapes, it, you know, I can be sure it's going to fit. Uh, and I have a feeling it might be... You know what? I'm already anticipating the rest of it. Um... I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna mark that safe zone because
there. Yeah, so that's a square. Um, and if I fill that with like orange, yeah, whatever. Um, why do I always feel the need to write in caps? Um, all right, so uh, that's my safe zone. I'm pretty much going to hide that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hide that for now just to be um, not too confusing, and I can reassess it once I've added all these shapes in. So, diamond tool. <laughs> it really is just a. Uh, uh, a crapshoot of whatever. Okay, <clears throat> that's another one. And All right, and then do another one, trapezoid. Quite easy to be honest. I can just sort of roll through and add trillions of uh, all right, Oscar. You're very chill. I can hear you breathing though. Um, all right, polygon. Oh, so this is where it gets interesting as well because it's basically going to be that's not what I wanted. Oh, interesting. Uh, so, Just gonna align. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, That'll do. I can I can polish it up later. All right. Although actually, I can also do a six-sided polygon, otherwise known as a hexagon. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Tessellate, for forcing me to learn about types of shapes. And just very quickly, I want to. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, no, it's fine. Um, all right, so now it's white, and now I'm actually gonna uh, do the same thing. Uh, 
and I'm going to transform and I'm going to rotate it at 90 degrees. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to rotate it on the center axis by 90 degrees. Hey, there we go. All right, so um, uh, that's all fine. I'm going to drag and drop that to there. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay, fine. And you can probably tell that there's already going to be like quite a lot of um, quite a lot of varieties. Uh, I think I think this, well, I, I could keep adding them, but I think okay. Yeah, let's 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 add a couple more. So now we've got. Oh no, I didn't want to make that seven-sided. Here we go. All right. That's pretty cool looking. Seven-sided um, uh, shape. That looks about right to me. So I'm just going to pretty much leave that as it is. Alright, I'm going to go back over here. Now let's do, funnily enough, an eight-sided one. Alright, so... Got a little bit of hair in your mouth because you're a cat and you've got a lot of hair. Um, okay, so. Oh, bollocks, I've done it again. There we go. Eight sided. And actually, um, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to. question is that is 22 degrees the correct evidently not You know what, I'm just going to ask the internet. Um, I know what it is. It's 22.5. I was so close. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. All right, 22.5 degrees. There we go. All right, that's what I was looking for. Now I can make it, um, I can make it white again. Yeah, that's shade okay so now we've okay so we've already got how many like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that's twelve um backgrounds and bearing in mind they'll be randomly generated backgrounds foregrounds and the color of the background and the foreground but i'm actually going to keep going and i'm going to add even more because i want it to be like 
really, really random uh, to the point where it's a bit ridiculous. Um, and because why not? But I think I think going up to eight sided shapes is probably enough. Um, and let's see uh, da, 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 which of these I do next. Maybe a star, except I think it's going to be too narrow. Let's have a look. I'll just do my safe zone. Oh, no, it actually fits. Okay, that works. Um, but I'm going to need to move it a bit. So let's go over here. That looks pretty even to me. Now, so basically, the idea with the safe zone is that the foreground of the shape is going to um, be basically scaled to fit within that box. Um, so there's always doesn't matter which one of these um, which one of these external bits we have selected, it's going to um, you know it's always going to fit within there. So for some of these shapes, it might look really small. And some might look really big, but when they're all together, it's going to look consistent, and that's the most important thing. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Um, all right, cool. And so, what am I doing? Okay, I get rid of the safe zone now. I can get rid of the star because it's already done. All right, so that's in there now. Um, and okay, what other weird stuff can I put in that's going to make it funny? Um, Maybe one of these double stars. If the other star works, this one must do. Uh, and I'm actually gonna... Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, okay, I'm gonna move that down so it... Perfect, okay. Mm, all right, what else are we doing? Let's do one of these segment things because that looks fun. Oh. Uh, but we're going to move it down so it's more. I mean, that looks pretty central to me. Okay, so I've just realized that if I do this, I can actually see the distance of the visible pixels. See, this is why this software is really good, because if I hold down control, I can see that that shape is 62.5 pixels that way, 62.5 pixels that way. It's awesome. Uh, okay. Hmm. So, um, that's another one of these. We can add it in there. Perfect. Well, I'm excited. I'm getting excited about this game now. Um, okay, so segment tool crescent won't work, um, but it could work as a shape in the middle. Funnily enough. Sorry, my hands are very cold for some reason. Uh, randomly, there isn't a radiator in the room with my computer in. Um, and uh, so sometimes it can get really cold uh, for some reason. Anyway, um, okay, so. Um, okay.
All right, I'm just gonna have a quick extra look if there's anything else I wanna add. Maybe a heart-shaped one, I think that's kinda nice. Uh, boom, that's cool. Six, eight point six. There we go. See, so I can see they're the same distance. Perfect. Um, the very last one that I wanted to try. Um, just want to try this tear-shaped one just to see. Oh. I mean, that works. Kind of goofy, but whatever. And then the last one I wanted to try it was. Will it will it work? Let's see. Right, so that's that there. If I do the safe zone. Ooh. Tell you what, what if I make it just a little bit wider? Perfect. Oh, I like that. Uh, I don't like that, so that one is going to go. Um, <laughs> and this one's going to stay. Okay. Cool. So that's, that's all of the backgrounds. And what I can do now is uh, if I shrink that down, I'm gonna make an extra folder um, called, uh, okay, so, well, I'm not gonna make an extra folder yet. I'm gonna um, enable my safe zone, and I'm now gonna start doing the same shit, but, Ground. All right, so that's my other group. The safe zone's coming back up to being up, up at the top. Yeah, so that's that. And now I'm literally going through the same process, uh, but instead of being the whole thing, I'm making it fit within here. You know what? I can just take all of these. Except for those two. And let's see what happens if I now go into the foreground folder. Alright, now, fingers crossed, I'm pretty sure I just saved myself a shitload of time and just added all of them as, um... Let's just try 
Nice. I just wanted to make sure the actual size was like all right. Um, hey, Oshka. No. Okay, there's a cat walking past the screen. Do you do you really want to sit there? It's like, oops, why are cats so weird? Um, okay, so okay, that one works. 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 Yeah. 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 Nice. Oh, some of these actually are a bit um Same goes for some of these. That one's fine. One, two, yep, yeah, that one's fine. That one's not quite fine. So, Now that should be right. Four, four, two, two. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And that one's definitely fine. Yeah. Perfect. Though actually. works nice okay that's the right size as well yeah basically what I'm doing at the moment is um I just want them to fill as much of that um, safe area as possible. Um. It's all fine. Whew. All right. All right. Uh, 
then <clears throat> that one's fine that one's fine that one's fine uh, oh no it's not actually this one needs to go okay that's good uh, and this one perfect all right so that's decent decent start um and now i'm gonna be uh duh, 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 duh. what am i doing i'm gonna add some others that i didn't add to the other bits so let's go for this square star thing because why not Start with it like that. Yeah, that looks about right. Uh, I think when I save these, I'm going to be sensible and I'm just gonna instead of giving them really fancy unique names I'm literally just gonna number them because otherwise um, I don't know maybe I'll maybe I'll do it properly um, this is a five and a half hour stream already by the way so um, if anyone if anyone is watching this on like YouTube or something like that or just watching it you know as a video instead of a live stream um, I guess thanks <laughs> uh, but also if you if you happen to be flicking through the video and you've just like landed on this bit and happen to be hearing this also thanks for like flicking through the video um, I don't expect anyone I mean does anyone watch streams after they've happened is that like you know anyway whatever not important um, all right so there's that and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna duplicate it and then uh, I'm basically just going to flip it vertically. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm trying to um, uh, flip vertical. That's what I wanted. Okay, fine. That's cool. I like that. Um, okay, so uh, whatever. Is there anything else in here? Maybe this crescent thing, because it's kind of cool. Um, do the donut as well, because that's kind of fun. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, to be honest with you, the, sh the actual shapes don't really matter, because they're going to be so randomized that the odds of it will just it just won't be possible for them to be exactly the same because I'm going to be randomizing the colors um, you know so the odds of two being the same uh, next to none um, of course I probably will have to put in some sort of parameter that checks that they're not actually identical because um, if that did happen it would be sort of game breaking and it's not very fair um, anyway, whatever. Just thinking out loud. Okay, so that's that. Um, maybe this pie thing, because why not? That's a random one. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rotate it by uh, oh no that's not what I wanted to do um, I wanted to do um, uh, 360 minus uh, 315 you see what it is
here. All right, and then I'm gonna duplicate it. And now this one is gonna be Thirty-five. All right. Um, oh, look, and it's already okay. I don't know how it's doing that, but it's it's preempting what I'm trying to do, which is awesome. You see, I've got four little Pac-Mans, and it's, um, you know, it'll be fun. gonna rotate it by 90 degrees ah no I'm not why do they always why do they always Base AG. All right. Yeah, because so the idea is that in the actual game itself, I'm going to have a prefab. Um, so like a pre-made game object that's going to have two parameters one is background one is foreground and then there'll be a script attached to it that's basically or maybe actually the gameplay script will probably say okay instantiate one of these uh, symbol prefabs randomize you know the array of um, what the what the shape is the background is randomize the array of what the foreground is um, and then add the uh, the you know add the uh, randomize the colors of each of them as well and then basically by doing that it's going to have created something completely new you know so um i think that'll be pretty cool uh and we'll see <laughs> it's uh you know I'm, I'm quite excited about seeing this um seeing this come to life because i think it's going to be quite a cool um quite quite a cool mechanic so we'll see and who knows, maybe I'll get this one done really quickly. You know, maybe I'll finish it in like within a couple of weeks um, because the gameplay itself, once it's done, it's done. That's the beauty of arcade games. Um, you just have to kind of develop whatever the mechanic is and then you just tell people to get the highest score possible. Um, so yeah. All right, anyway, okay, that one's done. Um, what else did I want to do? Oh, I can do, a, I'll do an actual crescent, like a crescent moon as well. That I'm obviously gonna drag it across so it's in the in the middle. There we go, like that. All right, so we've got a whole whole bunch of shapes, and I'm almost done with these. To, to be honest, because I can always add more later. Um, but I did think this cog thing would make quite a good uh, thing in the middle as well. Or is it too? Uh, 
Uh, Alright. Yeah, I like that. So for example, if I just if I open it up with one of the backgrounds, just out of curiosity, uh, how would that look with, with, with a Yeah. All right. Okay, now begins the um now begins the long and arduous process of saving them all, which is, um, it's gonna, it's gonna be slow. Um, and so before I start that, I'm going to very quickly take another two minute break, um, because it has been about five hours. So, you know, uh, so, uh, I will be back in just a minute.
all right i'm back again um <clears throat> all right so where we left off um i was just about to start saving all of these and there are as you can see probably about 20 20 odd assets to save so that's gonna be fun um and i think i'm literally just gonna have to uh, i'm just gonna have to go through and enable one and then control c control s and then it's gonna be a case of just going through and uh, exporting BG, BG Diamond. No, you know what? We're going to call it BG One because fuck it. Um, say. Uh, we're going to call this one BG Two. I bet this is really interesting uh, content to watch. Want to make sure I didn't do any uh, duplicates or anything like that. G nine, G ten. Ah. Uh. It's not too bad actually. I've, I've not got too many to go. And once these are done, I can then go into um, Unity and start creating the script that will randomize them. And that's the thing I'm actually really excited about. So, um, it's 11. There is probably a quick way to do this if I was smarter, but whatever. there um, 
That cloud one is awesome. Hmm. Something I just thought. I think each of the rounds, so to speak, should be a new scene. <clears throat> because that way I can have a defined position for each of the symbols, for it, depending on the number. Um, and it's just going to be the easiest way to organise it. So, yeah. Okay, right, that's something to think about. Um, pretty sure I've already got this one, 16, yep. Yeah. Alright, so there's 18 backgrounds, that's pretty, pretty good I think. You know, it's a, a decent number to say the least. Um, right, cool. Um, so that's the background's done. Now, not doing this folder, we're doing this one, what we're doing, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, um, we're doing FG1, <laughs> oh god, uh, okay, FG2, Three. Oh, it's a noisy motorbike outside. Three, four. Pizoid becomes FG six, uh, and then we're doing this one for all the polygons. I just spent about a year messing around with the game about shapes, and somehow here I am in a Photoshop style program doing the same fucking thing. It'll be worth it in the end. Mm. Before I save that. Oh yeah, no, okay, sorry, it fits it fits pretty well. Um Thirteen. FG 
14. Yeah, we're getting close now. Um, see. 15. Oh god, I forgot about all the other ones. Um, Sixteen, FG eighteen. Sorry, I zoned out for a second there. Did I already do that one? Yes. going to be like 25 or 26 um, I think it's gonna be 27 actually in total it's a decent number someone that's good at math could probably calculate the number of possible variations but as soon as you add the colors into it it becomes like billions I'd imagine or trillions because of the sheer it, it just multiplies it so much that it's you know and it makes me think actually maybe I don't need to bother putting in that um, script that checks it's not a duplicate, although maybe I should just for peace of mind. <laughs> anyway, I don't need to do that yet. G25, oh, not 35, 25, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, this one is 25, we're almost there, G26, and then, uh, I forgot about that, uh, yeah, Seven and last one FG think I think I can close this for now so I got I got all my shapes here um, and they're already in the project so oh it's all importing yep there you go um, so actually this scene I'm probably going to, if I just quickly go to, not that. I've recently become really terrible at double clicking. <sighs> Maybe it's because my hands are cold. <laughs> um, okay, so if I go to splash screen just temporarily, and then uh, if I rename. Um, Instead of gameplay, I'm going to call it 
over 1. And it shouldn't matter because it's still, if we go to the build settings, it's still, um, yeah, exactly, it's still there. Or, better yet, I'm going to call it exactly what it is. Um, three symbols. Yeah. I'm basically going to call the scene how many symbols there actually are. Um, because to me that makes sense. Uh, right, so if I open up our three symbols scene, um, okay, and this is where it gets interesting. So here, where it says symbols go here, uh, I'm gonna hide that for the time being. I'm going to create a new empty and it's going to be called uh, not shapes, symbols. I'm just going to call it symbols. It is going to be bang in the middle uh, and it's basically going to house some game objects that are our. Uh, symbols. So what I want is I want oh, oh Brian don't be such a pimpus okay as you can probably see by the tail on the screen there's now a cat on me he's decided to leap onto my lap because that's what he does Oh, and I've just knocked my microphone. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Hopefully I'm still uh, audible. Oh, yeah, I don't know. To me, it sounds much deeper if I come in like that. Um, all right, so, Brian, stop. Just find somewhere to stand. Um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, let's have a look. So, I want to create a sprite, I think. Um, and this one is going to be called, well actually, like yes we'll create a sprite but I'm going to create another empty, that is symbol 1, uh, and then there's going to be that, and scale is going to be let's say because okay so what I actually want is there to be for there to be a 12 by 12 grid um, eventually that fills most of the screen so yeah I reckon do the same thing oh look my microphone is uh, running away from me if anyone is watching the video um, you'd probably be able to see that and it's just me being an idiot uh, and not able to see that but that's what I get for buying a cheap mic stand so you know someday I'll get that cool road one that's you, you could basically sit on it and it wouldn't move um, 
That's what I need when there's like small animals walking around and stuff. Or just me knocking it because I'm an idiot. Uh, Alright, so. Let's see. Uh, 100 by 100. And. Um, Now, the real question is, did I really want a sprite? Ah. Well, that's obviously massive. Um, ah, okay, that's better. All right, so what we really want is something like. going to give it a random color so that one's going to be red that one's going to be yellow Ew. okay let's do it like that all right so there there we go that's our now what i can immediately see is that they're actually not aligned um which is kind of a piss take considering i spent all that time making sure they were aligned so why the fuck aren't they evenly evenly mapped? So that works. I know what it is. Uh, 
symbol for uh, symbol for ground. Yep. And we're gonna add another one. Symbol at ground. I've got a feeling it's that direction, so I'll, we'll try that. Um, that's what it was. Yeah, see, that's good. So what the fuck is wrong with this one? There's something wrong with it. Because that's in the middle. That's in the middle. photo again and we're going to figure out what's going on because that one looks stupid uh, quick check of my phone because well it's loading up but uh yeah don't forget this is the uh this is the goal something like that to load up because oh shit it's taking a while to load up because that's what it does even Brian's bored of it um oh no what you doing come on Brian don't hey come on come on come on come on back up all right <clears throat> so let's check it in here uh, if I do the diamond background, and let's say if I change the color of it to something like uh, whatever that'll do. Um, all right. Um, Now to me that looks okay, but actually when I really look at it, no, it's, it's even, so it should be, so what am I missing here? Okay, new plan. What if I just take a square and I rotate it? Oh, 
All right, so. Taken the square, I've rotated it 45 degrees. I know what it is. It's nothing to do with that diamond shape. It's that my safe zone isn't in the middle. It's like down a bit, which is like, oh, that's horrible. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. So I'm now going to have to, well, for starters, First things first, I am gonna uh, the safe zone and therefore the foreground. No, 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 not that. Uh, we are gonna test which backgrounds no longer work with it being actually centered okay Oh, now it's working. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Well, there you can see that's all. The, that's all those shapes in a nutshell. Uh, now, what I need to do. don't really need to be able to view those instead now I need to go through the um, each of these shapes oh, that works that works that works I'm gonna unselect that because that's quite kind of annoying so that one works that one works obviously works Works. Works. Hmm. That one looks funny, but it works. Same for that one. to say bye to the star.
works. And incredibly, that one works too. So there you go. Warming my hands up. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, so actually, of all of those, it's just just the star that uh, needed to change. But the uh, the downside is that now I need to go in here. Uh, I'm gonna. Gonna delete that. So the star is gone, and now Fifteen, um, and this one. All right, so those are our backgrounds. Of course, the real, the real shit heap is uh, not about the backgrounds. It is about the foregrounds. Brian, what are you doing? Back an hour. <laughs> uh, okay. So, get rid of that. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? You, you're trying to eat my. I can see there are teeth marks on my notepad. Don't be such a wiener goodness me um all right so it's uh coming up to six hours and 20 minutes of streaming by the way so there's i reckon i can <sighs> i'll hack out another 40 minutes uh see how far we've got i want to be able to leave it in a good place so that i can carry on on the next stream and like just hit the ground running with something new and interesting so um right so right so i'm getting rid of the safe zone and i'm i'm doing this the good news is i can just click on the shape that i wanted to replace Nine. It's 
this button. Ten. Eleven. Look, see, I can see there, this one that's been done, they're all on the same level. This one is level below, like it's it's physically further down when I look at it. I don't know how, I don't know how I missed that before. It must have been when I was aligning it with the um, star shape or some shit like that. Uh, but anyway, there you go. Um, Okay, uh, this is 19 because it's that cool little asterisk thing. This that makes this one 20. Yep. Bollocks, I've done that again, haven't I? That makes this one 21. Yep. shit so now I can save this and I can close it again and now when we load in this should magically move up like that amazing okay now we have normal looking uh, well normal normal ish looking shapes this is just me it kind of looks on my screen like there's a shadow applied to it um, I don't know if that's visible on the stream, but actually the more I zoom in, the less visible it is, so it must just be my cheap screen. <laughs> okay, so the real thing now... you're going to see a one by one pixel perhaps not who knows okay 
anyway, whatever. So, Okay. It's time to create uh, a new thing called level manager. Fuck off. Level manager. To which the uh, this is what the shape randomization is going to be controlled by so basically it's uh, it's going to check what the scene index is based based on that it's going to be able to calculate how many shapes it's looking for on the screen and to randomize so this is getting quite technical already but whatever fuck it i'm just going to do it um right, c sharp script Level manager. Is it going to open one up? Uh, there we go. Um, to write it is it uh, come on uh, yeah unity engine dot c management because if you see what i mean it's going to look at the build bit index um We'll call it symbols quantity. So private int symbols quantity, um, and then basically, whenever the level loads up, um, symbols quantity equals um, active. Uh, how do I do it? Get build index. It's going to be in here. Say what you like about this lo-fi music, wherever they get it from, but it's very good at just like ha putting something varied in the background, but not so varied that it's distracting. I'm a, I'm a big fan, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna break this out a bit to be um, int. Um, build index equals uh, like debug uh, log.
right? So basically, um, Because the build index of uh, this one is two, but the number of symbols is three, I can do it like this. I can say uh, uh, you know plus one, and it's always going to be plus one because uh, scene index uh, number three is going to have four symbols, and number four is going to have five symbols, and so on and so on and so on. So. So that kind of fixes that pretty well. <sighs> Fuck me. I need to turn my heating on. Um, so this one is uh, symbols quantity. All right. So actually, for now, let's just leave that and just check that that works. Uh, and I'm going to drag and drop this. Oh, no, I can't do it like that, can I? Okay, uh, level manager, and then drop, drop that onto there. All right, so in theory, I shouldn't need the rest of my scripts. If I just press play on this, uh, it should theoretically. All right. Sorry, I just wanted to check something. No, it looked better in the uh, other one. Um, right. Okay, so. getting ahead of myself I was just playing around with something um, okay so uh, okay so the script works anyway so now I can just change it so that it's um, uh, symbols quant quantity quantity symbols quantity shit what was that thing <laughs> I just deleted it okay let's do it like that all right Um, and now we're going to create a um, a function or method or whatever you're going to call it. I forget the correct terminology. 
um, but it's basically gonna be um, <clears throat> It's going to have like a, a, a while loop in it um, and an iterator. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's going to be symbol randomizer. I'm so used to using mono develop where um, it's not also completing for me. <laughs> uh, okay, symbol randomizer. So basically, this is going to be a going to be <coughs> sorry a script that uses um what do you call it um oh, I forget. i'll stop talking i'm just going to get on with it um yeah so I equals no 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 oh yeah actually int i equals um because it's that iterator um uh, symbols quantity and then just to be safe debug log uh, i I. All right. Ah. While. Uh. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Um, I is zero. So while basically what we're saying is if the number of shapes is three, um, while I is less than three, uh, we're gonna we're gonna print to the log um, that I is zero in this case to start with. Um, In fact, uh, no, 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 that's not what we want. Okay, so we're going to start with I as one. Um, and And then we're going to be uh, da, 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 da. Uh, game object 
symbol. Um, equals game object dot find. Symbol space plus one. Um, and maybe you can see what's happening now. So basically, uh, we're identifying symbol one, and then just to check, we will say debug log um, symbol dot. Um, think that should be right. Mm. No, let's let's leave it like that. Cuz there are different things we would want to access. Um, okay, so uh, don't mind me, I'm just checking some stuff. All right, so uh, debug log symbol get. should work um, some reason it was telling me <clears throat> it um Something to do with UI, it's not important. Um, hmm. Cold hands.
Oh, I know why. That's the one. Right. Um. All right. So when we've got. Oh, I know what that needs to be though. That needs to be a two string. Check. Um, I'm just checking the the unity. Um, come on, where's the? Okay. Two string. Oh shit, yeah, I've got to do something. Ah, um. uh, I just got it the wrong way around. After that is just I equals uh, no, it's plus plus, isn't it? Okay, I think <laughs> doing some of this from memory, but let's see. So if I press start on this now, will it? No, nope, because I didn't. I didn't actually say in start we would do symbol randomizer. All right, let's see what happens now. So it worked, but there aren't three symbols. So, uh, but actually, just let's really quickly just go D D, and let's call this one symbol two, and this one symbol three. Uh, because I just want to make sure that it actually works the way it should. Um. Right. So. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing a lot. Um,
See, I'm doing it like this, and now I'm thinking that I should do it as a four each. Like, um, uh, basically finding anything with the tag shape, and then for each item in shape, uh, you know, I'm actually gonna. I think that's simpler. So actually, this thing I'm going to do Control K C, and that's going to comment it out, um, such as the way of things. And instead, <coughs> uh, I'm going to keep that symbols quantity thing, just in case I need it. Um, But for now, I want to uh, create a variable that is um, game object. going to be called um, symbol ref oh it's just telling me it's declared but never usable yet yeah, because I just made it um, game objects with tag that's the one I wanted that's very good auto completing on their part thank you very much um, symbol some sort of typo there so let's have a quick look at how to do a for each um, uh, come on. oh I've got to say what it is So for each symbol in symbol ref, um, I need to do 
something with the symbols here. All right. It's basically uh, debug log. Um, symbol dot get component uh, trans Pound sign like this. All right, so okay, let's see what it does now. Oh, bollocks! Yeah, there were there. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to call them symbol. three symbols and it told us their names were symbol one symbol two and symbol three that's how you do it not with a fucking uh, wild iterator situation although there's probably some reason why I should have done it like that and I, I literally never know with this stuff um, so you know whatever okay so that's that's enough there I, I now know that I've got my I've identified my symbol things um, <clears throat> which is great uh, and then actually there isn't anything else I really Ugh. there isn't really anything else come on why are you being so slow um, oh yeah my ears are aching now oh we're coming up to 7 hours though in a in 15 seconds it'll be seven hours of streaming which I think isn't bad for a first go um, if anyone happens to be watching this yeah don't know uh, I sincerely hope you haven't been watching the entire time um, so yeah but maybe you flicked through and you happen to stumble on this uh, who knows anyway whatever okay right so I've got my symbols what I need now is uh, an array um, uh, for each of those symbols um, now I think there needs to be like a public array thing here um, uh, public and uh, what, what are they going to be they're going to be um, sprites Uh, but they're not sprite singular, they're sprite plural. Um, and what am I doing? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, um, uh, oh, symbol, Except, uh, all right. I'm thinking, in the interest of making it not too um, heavy, I'm going to um, 
I'm going to make a separate script purely for storing the asset references. Um, so we're going to create a C sharp script and we're going to call it asset library. I like that. Okay. And that way, all of the assets that we would need for anything are going to be stored in here from now on. And there's going to be like a clear reference to what, uh, which one it is. Uh, I like that a lot, actually. Um, right. So. Um, Okay, so actually this is pretty straightforward because it just it's just going to be um, uh, header. Uh, let's see, how have, I, how have I done this in my game data thing? Okay, like that. What am I doing wrong there? Why is it not? going to go to uh, da, 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 da. Um, all right this is <laughs> this is going to be a long list um, I still don't understand why that says that maybe it'll fix it when I put something under it um, so this is going to be a sprite uh, and it's going to be symbol oh it's going to be public as well sorry uh, public sprite um, Right, symbol FG one. Oh, except it looks gross. All right, okay, that'll do. Yeah. Um. All right, now I think if I remember correctly, I've got. I've got quite a few of these. Oh, I actually did a hash there. Uh, let's see how many. How many did I have? Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, twenty-eight. All right, so I need twenty-eight of them. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just going to keep. Uh, told you it might be a while. All right. No, actually, I don't want that on there. Remove component. Instead,
I've got these stupid ear piercings that I've had for like 12 years um, and they still hurt if I wear headphones it's, it's so I, I should just take them out but I am um, I actually don't have the tool to do it <laughs> so I just leave them in um, and I've just never gotten around to looking into it and I kind of don't mind them so yeah but very random um, Sorry, I'm delaying because I'm just thinking, I think I actually want to attach this to, I'm going to attach this script to the game manager along with the d game data because basically it's a, you know, it's, I feel like it, if it's all there in the same place, it's all kind of together. Um, so... All right, now. So there's all my symbol foregrounds. Um, and actually, let's just very quickly check that, that actually works. Um, that's the one. Okay, very nice. All right, so I can actually to be honest, I will already drag them across. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, five, seven, eight. Fucking hell, this is <laughs> painful. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Seven, twenty-eight. Uh, right. Okay. So that's all of the foregrounds. That was actually surprisingly easy. Um, and now this is going to be even easier. So there are seventeen backgrounds, and I'm literally going to do a. bit all right so it is control shift H fine uh, find Selection, yeah. Four ground. We can change that for background, and it should make seventeen edits. Good. Okay. 
few. <laughs> uh, okay, and that's good to keep in mind for the future. You know what, I take everything I said about Visual Studio back, and I actually think it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, alright, so. Um, alright. What am I doing now? Uh, da, da. Well, I suppose I'm adding those assets as well. Here we go, so okay, that's what we want. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh god, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then number seventeen. Uh, all right. So that actually should do it for the references. Um, and then in here, uh, we're basically going to um, so that's the asset library thing. Oh, whatever this song is, is doing that tremolo thing where it bounces left and right in the stereo, and it's um. I find it very disorienting. Um, well, that's very weird. If you listen to this on headphones, you know what I'm talking about. Um, all right, so back to my level manager. For some reason, I'm finding level changer and level manager indistinguishable in my head. Uh, but there you go. Um, so, uh, all right. So actually, do I even need an array? I'm not so sure I do. No, I will, because it'll make it easier to randomize. Um, all right, so in that case, we're gonna make another one called uh, void. Um, Array um, creator uh, mm, okay. <clears throat> so, what we do next? So, we've got array. I'm going to call it generator instead. Um, and so it's going to say, um, ah, shit, what was it in the other one? It's, uh, da, 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 equals new, whatever it is. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so, um, symbol foregrounds equals new. Oh, and it says the volume as well. Um, it says 28, so. So. Oh, it's not string. Zero, 
schools. Um, bollocks that's what I need to do uh, I need to do um, let's comment that out for a second um, uh, private asset library Asset library. Um, so I just uh, just dawdling a bit. Um, Actually, no. What we want to do is the same shit we do everywhere else, um, and uh, it can be So it begins. my quick cheesy way of doing it.
All right. So. Debug log. Um, for oh, foreground on uh, C. All right. Let's just. Uh, Let's just test that first. So now it should create this array and it should be aware that it's the assets listed here. Um, and so Um, so basically now what I want to, in fact, um, Okay. 
okay and now I want to use its math F range or something like that um, unity scripting reference uh, math uh, random range oh or is it just random dot range uh, and it's inclusive so okay uh, random dot range Um, but that's uh, so that would be uh, zero to uh, da, 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 da. foreground quantity minus one, I believe, because the uh, you know. You know, I don't need to fucking debug log that, but I will <laughs> just to check it works. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Basically, I want to get the, if I now go back to my other one, uh, sprite renderer, that's what I want. I can see it down there. Should be as simple as saying that it's um, symbol foregrounds and then FG randomizer. And in theory, I think that should work. Um, so I guess we're going to find out. I mean, should I just. Oh, I need to go to the splash screen first. But I think it should. Ah, no, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to. Uh, symbol 2 is going to be. Uh... Oh. Alright, symbol 1 is going to be. Uh, no, not that. It's going to be 0 for that, and it's going to be 1 for that. Symbol two is going to be minus one. Symbol three is going to be minus one and minus one. There we go. Oh, uh. yeah, I'll do. Mm. Um. We'll make this minus zero point. Eight uh, minus zero point eight. 
Okay, so what we're hoping we're going to see is that these three um, shapes will generate their own foreground symbols. The color won't have changed, but the picture will have, and that's like the first step in this very exciting situation. So, um, yeah, let's try it out. And let's just triple check that. Um, so it does, it generates the arrays, then it randomizes the symbols. All right, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I'm feeling good, feeling hopeful. All right, here goes. Uh, all right, so it's loading up the, the menu, okay. Let me quickly switch to the, yep, so we've gone from the begin, the splash state, to the menu state, and now if, on my phone, if I tap play game, come on. Bollocks. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, okay, so it basically said, there is no sprite renderer attached to symbol one object but a script is trying hmm oh i know why because uh ah okay because i need to get the child okay Transform dot get child. Let's just check. Okay, we'll try that. Balls, I forgot about that. Um, We don't want the component, we just literally want to do try and transform get get child. Um. Now is it a zero situation? Yes, it is, so it should be zero. Um, all right, that's probably a messy way to do it, but I don't give a shit. Let's see, does it work? Well, it let me start it, that's a pretty good sign. Okay, so it's loading up. I've got my phone here. Uh, let me just, okay, so play game. All right, here goes. You guys, let's randomize them. Let's randomize the shapes. They're random. It's, it's random, they're random. It's, it's happening, it's fucking happening. All right awesome um all right so i'm 
I'm gonna I'm gonna round off this generation scripting and then I'm gonna write down what I did and what I need to do next um, although actually the benefit of having these videos is I can actually go back and re-watch the entire thing um, so actually I'll probably just end up at the end of the stream I'll just talk at the camera and say what I need to do next for my own reference if nothing else um, all right amazing okay so uh, oh, we only need it as far as, as that and then then we can do the old yeah okay that works and we're going to change foreground or background so that should be yeah yeah it should be 35 good okay um that was easy um Foreground quantity is 28, correct. Foreground randomizer, 26, 12, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, very nice. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do as well? <clears throat> this temporary button that I shoved down here, I'm going to change the function. Instead of being um, this game over thing, I'm going to change it to... Uh, uh, it's basically going to be uh, I think I could do it this way I don't know you know what um, basically I wanted to um, uh, have that maybe if I do it this way um, so in the scene I've got my da, 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 level manager a very specific reason that I can't do that like that okay whatever um, cool so see all right so it's starting to show quite good progress now so we're going to do the same thing here but with a BG randomizer Maybe, uh, no, I can do it like this, can't I? I'll just do, I'll, I'll do it by the order that they're shown in. 
So if I make that one. I think that should do it. All right, here goes. Press the thing. I'm not looking at the screen, I'm looking at my phone. <gasps> it worked. I mean, the, the shapes themselves are like a fucking mess, but it worked. It fucking worked. And that's amazing. Some of those shapes do look a bit shit though. So that's something for me to think about. Um, finding shapes that are a bit, for the backgrounds at least, a bit more even so that when something is pasted in the center, it, it you know, pops, whatever. Basically, that triangle looks like dog shit. Damn, so I've actually I've actually made a pretty decent amount of progress. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's uh, it's pretty good. So, next steps um, are to uh, uh, let's see. So the next steps will be for me to one is like fix the shapes so that the ones that are appearing very weirdly aren't appearing so weirdly anymore. Uh, the next thing for me to do will be to start randomizing the colors um and then really then i just have to implement the functionality where the game actually runs so on each level it needs a countdown for five seconds um <clears throat> it needs a um a you know interaction on on the shapes and basically each shape needs to know if it's the new one or not um, which means actually I need to add the next scene which is four shapes because the whole point is it shows these three and then it randomly jumbles them up um, oh shit that's a good point I hadn't thought about that um, oh that's gonna be interesting because basically I want the I want which shape is where to be randomized every time so they're not obviously in the same place every time so that's something else i need to think about um and yeah that's pretty much it um and i think uh for the time being <clears throat> given that it's now been seven hours and 45 minutes so realistically since the stream properly started about seven and a half hours um which i would say is probably quite good by streaming standards um so yeah, don't know. Uh, there you go. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna leave it there for now because I feel like it's in a really good place. Um, and to be honest, I've enjoyed it so much. I'm probably gonna carry on tomorrow. Um, so we'll see. But uh, in in the meantime, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you if you happen to be watching this and you're still watching, or maybe you skipped through and you're watching the last like 30 seconds. Um, Thank you very much for taking the time. Obviously, it's very difficult when you're doing the indie dev thing um, without wanting to spend a lot of money. Um, 
to drum up any interest in yourself so if you are looking at this thank you that's pretty cool of you um <clears throat> there's going to be some links to my social media coming up in a second and please follow me on those you can also find those links on my twitch profile on my youtube everywhere really or if you just search wild goat games uh you can find my website as well um and yeah if you haven't already played it check out my current game uh, tessellate or even the other one puck you uh if you've got a computer and you want to play pong on that um so yeah uh and yeah uh, all i would say is like uh, i've actually quite enjoyed the whole streaming process i found it quite therapeutic really um and i'm gonna try and do it uh on quite a regular schedule so um there's a widget on my twitch profile at the moment that shows schedule uh and so i'll try and create something that i can stick to um it'll probably mostly be weekends and maybe a couple of evenings during the week uh, but we'll see and maybe there might be a few spontaneous streams in the meantime as well so um do follow me on twitch to get a notification when i start streaming and stuff like that and uh yeah okay that's a lot of rambling and uh i'm gonna shut up now so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you on the next stream. All right, bye-bye.